Friday. Hello and welcome back, everyone. It's a Friday stream. How are you all doing today? How are you all doing today? How's it going, Laser? How's it going, Valnor? Hello, hello. We're jumping right back in. We're going to get back to building. I don't know if there's... There are a couple of people who could look at raiding. But I think I want to just jump right back into building. Because we got the purge to work yesterday. And I'm excited. I'm excited to go ahead and actually play through the purge. Let's jump on in. First things first, we have to see if we got raided or not ourselves. We, we don't know. I haven't been on since yesterday. It's always going to be a surprise. <laughs> it's taking forever to load. It's making me a little nervous, to be honest. It's taking longer than normal to load. Is it because our base is a crater? Maybe someone donated a whole bunch of stuff and there's a bunch of buildings around us? I don't know. Oh my goodness, game, please. <laughs> you can see it slowly moving at the bottom. Come on. I believe you can do it. Oh! <laughs> Server disconnected. All right, hold on. Hold on. Come on. Come on, game. What do you mean we disconnected to server? What does it mean? What does it mean? No game for you? I come on. I just want to play. Just... <laughs> come on. Man, it never grabs the first loading screen. Come on now. Maybe the server is really busy. The server is busier right now, but again, it is a uh, you know, it's 9 p.m. on a Friday. Hey, we're in. All right, we did it. I don't know what happened, but it looks like we aren't rated. Woo! How's it going, Dire Bunny? How are you doing today? Thank you so much for using your Twitch Prime here. I appreciate that. Eat your vegetables. Then you can uh, you have video games. No, I refuse. I'll have my tea. Tea, tea's a vegetable, right? Tea's a vegetable, Dire Bunny. Is that right? That, that feels about right. All right. Is there anything else for us to notice here? So, is there another avatar attack that's happened since we were last on? It looks like the answer to that is oh, it is. I was gonna say no, but there. So, free lessons got hit. The free lessons was the ones that fired off an avatar yesterday. Server log. All right, it's gonna be the first line here. What? The role players rated three lessons? No way. These guys have rated free lessons? That what? That can't be right. Holy moly. Uh oh. This There's a player here. Take that. Curse you. Oh no, maybe it's just a panther. Oh thank goodness, it's just a panther. Oh my goodness, I got so nervous. <laughs> like, oh no! It's the player, then I remembered he was here. Okay. Peace. We talking about raiding and then suddenly guys taking some damage. Okay. That's fine. If we, if we lose him, it's fine. He's not that big of a deal for us. He's not a not a game changer for us to keep him. Alright, but I wanna go and investigate this. I wanna go investigate this. So I don't know how we're gonna How we gonna get up there? We could probably get up there. Hmm. Yeah, so I want to go up there and check that. I'm also trying to decide if we want to go and take stuff to go to uh, Covenant. We, see, we should probably see who's online. All right, so one, two members of Free Lessons are online right now. We got two people without any clans. Ah, oh, Bebop is online. Maybe they have another. Maybe they have another place that they have a base. Merciless is online, and I haven't run into this guy yet. Or this guy. Beck and Akladam. Akladama? Cowboy's over here. Hmm. We would need to bring explosives and a, uh, a bow. Also, we should 
probably go and set all of our crafting stations to, to working. Because right now they are all caught up on their jobs. Go and get this all set up. Harvest everything first. And go from there. You love how Zelda describes... Uh, you love Zelda's descriptions. Because it still lists two, uh, two play games as stuff like Elden Ring. Oh, does it? Wait, really? Oh, yeah, it does. It does in there. Yeah, I don't think I've updated that that one. You're right. I don't think I've updated that. Yeah, I need to update that, don't I? We, we beat Elden Ring. That, that game's done. That's right. In the About section, I haven't, uh, haven't up updated that one yet. That is a good point. It needs to be done. Or rather, it is already done. It has been done. I can't stash anything else in here. Uh, we need to get steel rolling. So I guess we're on steel duty now. Uh, so for right now, pull all this iron out, back out. Oh, that's right. It's so little in. It's so little for what you uh, put in for iron. Holy. Yeah, so we'll get those rolling. Get a bunch of iron going so we can get some more iron reinforcements. Uh, we can drop off the building materials at least. Oh, come on in. Building materials at least. Come on now. I have to take those thralls out at some point. Eventually it's going to be too full. Uh, more iron. And more iron. go and get all of this steel fire perfect again and we'll just get the rest of oh no come on oh come on now we'll put the rest of the tar in here make even more steel fire perfect. that's rolling so now it's just the blacksmiths that aren't doing anything and the carpenters benches but i don't really think we actually need any more uh shaped wood i think we're all caught up on shaped wood honestly I honestly think we're done. We have so much. I have so much shape wood. I think we're done with making that. How's it going, Buzzy Wuzzy? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Let's go ahead and uh, repair this armor. Took it off once already to do that, and then I got distracted by all the noises outside. Let's go ahead and repair this armor. We do need to make better armor at some point here today. Go in there. Also making a bold push as a DM to increase your games to $25. Most players have said your games are worth that much. That's awesome. That's great news to hear, Dire Bunny. The one did say they'd consider your games in the $35 to $40 range. Wow. That's great. That just means that you're getting better and better at what you do for your uh, little side hustle. That's awesome. I keep at it. I mean, I, I would say it makes sense. It's a brand new year. That's when most people up their prices, right? Like, oh, this is the this is the 2024 model of D and D modules that I'm running. They're a little more expensive, yeah. Never pay that much. Fifteen tops. I think it really depends on the group that you find, the DM you have. Uh, one of the things the butcher that Dire Bunny does is Dire Bunny does like a bunch of other things on the sides. It's gotten the miniatures, gotten the art, and the like, and use that money for that. So. It's it's not just only to play, but also for some, like, extras as well. But how's it going, The Butcher? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, custom maps, music, and get assets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's more than just, which is why it makes sense to up the price, because then Dire Bunny can, has more freedom to do more stuff. Right? Doing well? Excellent. All right, so let's grab a bow if we have a bow somewhere, which I don't think we do. I'm going to have to go just make one out of scrap sticks and the like. I just want to hold on to it. There we go. I'll hold on to one. To a dragon bow. No, let's not use a dragon bow. Let's use this bow that we found. Is there a cheaper bow that we found somewhere? So the answer to that is, of course, no. <laughs> All right. Hex flows of arrows. Uh, we don't need this many. We'll take, like, 20 with us. We have food. 
grab some bandages because it doesn't hurt for us to continue to get through this stockpile that we picked up from the raids that we've done in the past. Let's go and investigate. Let's go and investigate. Look those up. Put you here. Head on out. Grab some water on our way. Yeah, making a visuals can get expensive, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, also there's a whole bunch of the third-party content, like all the books and the like that you pick up as well. Can I AFK for 10? Make some burgers? Oh, that sounds delicious. Make some burgers? Where? I wonder where they are, because it's... I'm on the West Coast, and this is a West Coast server, and it's 9.17 p.m. What? Hmm. Yeah, that golf ball, exactly right. Or goof ball, exactly right. I'll take that. Is Goofball in a clan? Goofball's part of pirates. He's on his own. Ah, wizard warriors have just jumped online. Maybe Alaska. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. That'd be an extra two two hours. Alaska is two hours after Pacific time. So that would put you at seven. Or maybe Hawaii. It might be in Hawaii. Oh no, sorry, it's daylight savings, excuse me. Yeah. It's one hour after for Alaska and two for Hawaii right now. So maybe. All right, so we're gonna go with some explosives and maybe take a peek inside Coven's place. But we have to be very, very, very confident that no one else is gonna be around if we're gonna go and start hucking explosives. The last thing we need is to make them think we're trying to raid them. I don't intend to raid a clan that big. No siree. We are a, uh, we're a little tiny. That's right, you were working on that new game, The Bloodborne, Dark Souls-esque game. Oh, it's looking awesome. The, the cover, the, um, I don't know what you'd call it, the menu screen? <laughs> I don't, to everybody, I don't know what you'd call it, but the, the graphic that you showed us in Discord looked really cool. You think Alaska is one hour behind Pacific and uh, Hawaii's too? I think so. Hawaii, warm beaches, warm people, warm in general. Yeah, I mean in the in the winter time like right now, that sounds quite nice. I mean I say that, but over here it's getting down to a chilly like forty degrees. <laughs> it's getting, it's getting down to a chilly forty degrees at night over here in California. I don't know what you guys are doing in the rest of the country. Oh wait, that's right, freezing. Oh my goodness, I know right. Oh no, it's forty. Oh. We're getting a little bit of rain here, too. Oh my goodness, what are you supposed to do with that? Call me when it's zero? It's, I, don't think it's, I don't think it ever gets to zero in California. I don't think it ever gets that cold. Now, where was Coven's base? Did I go right past it? No, I haven't gone past it yet. It's currently negative five over there. <laughs> Alaska is 14 degrees right now. Uh, Des Moines, Iowa is, three, is zero. Yeah, there's that weird lake effect. Or whatever. There, there's something that happens with like the um, the jet stream or some. I don't remember exactly what it is, but there's something that goes on over there that causes it to get just unruly levels of cold over there. So I wanted to bust through these low tier stone walls. These sandstone walls is what I want to kind of bust through here. But I can't remember how many explosives we actually need to do it. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, 130 hours until that disappears. Let's go check out the damage first before we go get sidetracked with anything else. Your phone trolled you with the weather app? <laughs> no, Polar Vortex. Ah, Polar Vortex, yeah. Other times, the polar jet stream just gets that low. Oh, it's just crazy cold. So you can see all of that up there, that is all Free Lessons. Free Lessons owns all of that. Now, the attack was over here. Wait, Free Lessons owns all of that. Free Lessons owns that as well? Oh, that's right, they own the cave. That's right, that's right, they own the cave. 
So let's see, what's over here that they hit? Because I thought that was going to be on top of the, the raised raised plateau that they had walled off. But what got attacked? This got attacked. Oh, this is the other side of... Okay, this is the other side of that cave I was just talking about. I probably should have checked to see if anyone was home over there. I did not. That might be a mistake. Could move my undoing. This... Yeah, so this is where they summoned it. Okay, so they placed this here to some... Wow, okay, they actually know their stuff. They built a little place to go and summon the, the god. And so... I guess the god attack shows where it was summoned, not what it attacked. But they summoned Set. I don't know what they're thinking. Set can't hit any of that. Because it's a snick. Uh, so they must have hit this. The snake can't hit that. If they had Jibble Song or... Uh, or Yogg, or Zat, or... I think that's it. I think only those ones would be able to hit from that range. This has been taking... This is taking damage. Taking a decent amount of damage. Not much. Alright, yeah, this looks like it was a failed godding attempt. Okay, well... Which is crazy, because you get ten minutes of godding now. Go check out this building over here. I haven't seen this before. Who are you, and should we be concerned? Who are you, and should we be concerned? Oh no, we've, I think we've seen this one before. I take that back. You can, cold, you can tell how cold it is based on what sound the snow makes when you step on it? Um... Wait, really? Is that actually a thing? I wouldn't know. I, um... It doesn't snow here much. Or <laughs> ever. California, we get uh, we get some snow on some of our mountains, but that's it's kind of it. Okay, so that's it here. We should probably circle back up and check Biddy's territory. See if anyone else moved in. It's been two days now that Biddy's stuff would have decayed. It would have been 36 hours by now. So if someone hasn't taken everything yet, I'd be incredibly surprised. We'll check all the same. Very cold snow is very loud and crunchy. Hmm. Interesting. Is that just because it's like essentially shards grating on shards? Is that kind of how that works? You're from the south, but living in Vermont, the different types of snow is mind blowing. Really? It's being stepped on. Interesting. The best way to describe it is it sounds similar to toast. Wow, okay. Like really cold, a uh, really cold snow sounds like toast. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe they summoned the avatar as part of a whole roleplay thing. I mean, it's possible. I wouldn't put it past them. Let's be honest. I would not put it past them doing that. Oh yeah, we should also check out Beastmaster's territory here and see if all of that absolute garbage tier spam has been removed. Let's just see if that's been removed. Doesn't really do much for us if it if it is or isn't, but still. Very par for the course in winter if you live above 40 degrees north, especially in the plains. Really? Getting that cold? That is just crazy. Dry powder snow is the best. Heavy wet snow, especially road sludge snow, is the worst. Oh, I can agree with that. That sounds awful. The first one sounds like fun to play in. The second one just sounds awful to drive through. Of course, ice storm weather is the absolute worst. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you can't see anything. You're just in a sleep. Nope, all that garbage to your stuff still here. We'll have to see if it's decayed yet, or if, uh, or what, what the story is there. We'll have to see. I don't know if that place has actually been raided into or not. Probably have to go and inspect it. We can do that on our way home. I don't think there's, I don't, I don't think we have a map room here. No, we don't. There's no map room in this area. So we're going to want to go to the obelisk if we want to use a map room. But the map room we would use would just bring us to the obelisk. So it means that we can either run all the way over here, past Chumbucket to the upper staging area. 
Uh, or we can run all the way to the obelisk itself and then run over. Oh. Damn. Darn locals being aggressive. Here's explain why the very bad god choice summoned a bad god so it doesn't actually do much. The big clan won't even feel a reason to retaliate. Oh yeah, true, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Just do some damage to all their stuff with one set attack and then come back in later with Ymir and actually decimate that base. Uh, for the base that they were attacking, uh, a Ymir, like from the location they were attacking from, the Ymir uh, avatar would be significantly better. Which is a big, stompy giant. The size of... Uh, taller than that cliff, actually. Taller than this cliff. Uh, with a big, huge axe that he brings down in a perfectly vertical swing that ignores terrain. So it'll go straight through the upper portion of that cave and just hit everything inside it. Bam. So that's, that's what they should be using is Ymir for that one. Maybe they thought Set would work because Set's a snickety sneak and so the, the nope rope is kind of low to the ground. But not really. He's He attacks a little high. It's like three foundations up. So it wouldn't have really worked too well. He gets some, like, some collateral damage down below, but Ymir is what they should use. I mean, Durketo, maybe? I don't remember exactly how the the, the whispering spread. The Because the, she blows a death kiss that's essentially like a flamethrower of, of true doom. Um, so I'm not too sure how high off the ground that flamethrower of pure death magic uh, goes. It's still here! Why? No way. Are we going to be the ones to be able to break this thing? Are you serious? Roleplay, uh, roleplayer raiders is always a bit weird. Yeah, it is a little weird. Wait. Can we, can we raid this? No way. I mean, we didn't climb all the way up to see when this thing decays, but maybe? Oh man, if only we had some sorcery, this would make life so much easier. I didn't bring my climbing gear. I really should have, but I don't know what I was thinking. Let's see if we can get up this way. See if we can get up. Worst part, uh, the worst part about living in the northern state is the salt on the roads. Oh yeah, it eats through vehicles, it's true. Yeah, every car that isn't garage kept in the winter uh, has a 15 year lifespan. Oh, that is brutal. Think this is a spot I can stop at? Oh, thank goodness. Rest our tired little arms. Yeah, see, so there's the there's the elevator there, but the elevator's all the way up. Oh, which means we can actually get to it. They didn't detach the elevators, you fools. We only have to make it up to this section where this tree is, and we should be able to shimmy over there. If we can use this elevator, that'd be huge. We don't want to blow anything up because that'll reset the timer. We just want to see if it's decayed. I'm hoping it's decayed. Oh, jeez, that was nerve-wracking. All right, biddies. Not decayed. 191 hours. Okay, so I haven't seen biddies online, though. That would indicate they've been on since we've been playing. Hmm. We can at least go and explore. Biddies isn't currently online. So... Not like anyone's going to be like, Alright, what are you doing on my lawn? Right? It'll be good. We need to give our, our tired little arms a rest. Proceeds to climb this 400 feet cliff. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly right. Oh, jeez. I thought we missed. Like, tensed up and just held the forward button. This also isn't a, a, a trap base up here. So we can, we can absolutely, or a trap elevator, so we can absolutely go up and down with no problem. Interesting that they decided to stop there is because to go lower. There must have been some structure here at one point that's vanished on its own. So it wasn't part of the upper piece. Even in games, these sorts of heights make you really weird. Even when not playing. Right? This isn't an up-kilt stream. Alright, Bellinar, it wasn't intentional. It just, um, it just happened, okay? Alright, so Biddy's got a long timer left. 
But he's also had some damage, I saw. Why is there damage here? Eh, it's insubstantial damage. It's all like someone used a tool on here. These places have some damage on them. Ooh! Okay, I'm against stealing things from people because then we end up on their radar, but I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Gonna use that. Now we don't have to... Oh, it's been raided. So now I don't have to do the Jebel Sog dungeon to get the Jebel Sog religion. We've just learned the Jebel Sog religion. I don't know why they kept those. There's no reason to keep them. Okay. Let's see here. Being high up is fun, especially when there's practically no safety equipment. <laughs> oh, wow. This place has been actually gutted. This place has been, like, legitimately gutted. Ooh, is this connected to... No. Not connected to anything. Bummer. Ah, this stuff's relatively fresh. Well, it tells us when this happened, because the, the explosions reset the decay timer. So it looks like three days ago this place got raided. I don't know who, who by, but uh, someone did. The map room appears. We can at least use that to get home. That's nice. They had a decent base up here. Oh, they even have a trebuchet here to try and clear out uh, people that are trying to set up bases to attack. Smart. Some meats, but nothing else. Nothing we want to take other than that piece. Literally nothing of value here. Wild. But yeah, this place has been completely gutted. Weird how they raided in, though. They must have raided down and then further down. And then accidentally broke a hole in there. I can't see why you would raid down here and then raid up. That doesn't make any sense. And that's the door in. There's a door here. Weird. Alright. Well, there you go. Um, how do we want to get up? This way. Alright. Oh, come on now. Up. Hey, hey. Keep going up. Don't go back down. But, uh, in which case, we can go ahead and pop up and out. Uh, let's see here. We want to go to this obelisk over here. Okay. Uh oh, it's not showing me which one's which. Uh oh. It's gonna be a shot in the dark. <laughs> Who's ready for a shot in the dark? I think it's this one. It's not giving us the glowing on the map, telling us which one it is. I'm guessing here. This one feels good. It's a good build, though. Yeah, I got the right one. Nice. All right. We picked correctly. Let's go and check this place out. We just teleported to the south side of the jungle. We want to investigate Beastmaster and all of his nonsense. Oh, Beastmaster, is your stuff decayed yet? What's going on? No. A couple days left on this part of the monstrosity. I thought it was decaying. I thought it was down to like three days or something. Maybe this is just this side of the island. This side of the setup. Maybe over here, because it's disconnected. I don't think they're connected. Yeah, I think these are two different groups. Check this. Oh, same timer. Same timer again. And he's been gutted, so I don't have to worry about him. Hmm. Hmm, someone's got disappearing equipment. That's not good. Let's head down here. Let's check down here. 
amount of building is crazy to you? Someone spent enough time to build all this? Yeah. And crunch. Don't worry, our legs regrow. It's perfectly fine. Hey, this is decayed. Not remove. Demolish. Blam. Okay, so that got that and maybe all of this stuff over here, too. Oh, yeah, it did. I should have came over here to see it because it would have been more spectacular. But this was just absolutely riddled with so much spam. It's all gone. Oh, it's like, this is great. This whole area has been cleaned. We just cleaned it all with the press of a button. Nice. People can, people can actually build a base over here now if they want to. I should have been over here looking at it when we did that, but uh, there, cleared out. Done. Got this flops over here. See if it's anything good. Dude, while we're out and about here, let's check the islands. Oh, what is this? Unconscious. It's a player. They're not online right now. But I don't know who they are. So I don't really want to... Yeah, that's very odd. Their, they, their brain has flipped off in the middle of the ocean. So, um... That's a thing. Uh, I don't really want to take stuff off of him. Oh, hang on a second. We see someone lives over here. Someone's over here. I don't want to steal stuff from him because I don't know who it is. Maybe they dropped it in it? Maybe. But I see a couple of building materials floating here. Okay. It's a, it's, it's a small fort. I was honestly expecting it to be twice as tall. That's good. Only way it explained the very odd DC location? Yeah. Let's find out who's taken over this portion of the island. An interesting way to build here. What's oh, taking damage? Workmen. This is a workman's base. But it's been raided. You can see that the the crenellations are missing here. And there's a bit of a hole in his wall. Can I get in from this? Oh, I can get in from a roof, looks like. Alright, so he got raided, uh, I guess, two days ago? A day ago. He got raided one... No, two days ago. Two days ago he got raided. We haven't seen workmen online. They took everything. Darn loot goblins got here first! Yeah, there's not a single thing in any of these. Oh, come on. You leave me just some scraps? Oh? No. No, that's useful. Nothing useful. <laughs> what is that? One piece of ice? No, 41 pieces of ice. Okay. Is it one piece of ice and a bunch of bugs? Nice, thanks. I mean, this was a cool design. Do not touch that green thing. Do not touch that green thing. I don't want to have to swim back over here to get our equipment. That would just be a real pain. Honestly, I might just say screw it and leave all of our stuff here if that, if that happens. Because <laughs> we we're not carrying enough stuff that it's, like, super important. A whole bunch of compost and bugs if we really wanted them. We could take that, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Nothing in the interior wall? No, it's just all defense. Yeah, it got blown through. <laughs> no, looks like that's it. Looks like there's nothing else here. It's a cute little base. I like the design. I mean, I personally would have liked having proper floors inside, but I can see why he didn't. He wanted a nice open space. All right, well, luckily for us, there is a map room here. So what we can do is we've only checked this island. We can check the Demon Spider Island, and we can check the Dancer's Island. 
if we want. Let's go back up. And we live down here. We're a ways away. Hmm. Good. And out in the water. The Demon Spider Island? I guess we'll check that one next. I mean, it's right here. It's like literally within vision range. We'll check this one first and we'll circle back around. Let's see if someone's built over here. I'm assuming no. This place doesn't get built on that often. It does from time to time. But it doesn't get built on that often. This You can build on this entire island here. Just like you can only build on this little sliver of the island here. You can build on the whole thing here, because the uh, the ghost wall goes right here. So you can build on a sliver of this. You can't go past that totem. Going, going, trying to go past that totem gets you immediately murdered. There's the demon spider. And a whole bunch of little baby spiders. And yeah, the island looks empty. Well, I mean, except for a demon spider, of course. Yeah. Rose spider doom. Yeah, so Spider Island is clear. There's no, there's no one built here. Don't do it, Mr. Spider. Don't do it. Don't do it. Someone shot me with acid. What's wrong with you? Oof, is it dark or what? Alright, so we're going to this next one there. That'll be the uh, Dancer Island. I'm trying to remember if you can build... I think you can build here, too. So we could check that. But then we want to come back here, because then we can teleport from here to here. Is that even beneficial? Not really. If <laughs> we get ourselves down here, we might as well just go run back. About equidistant. Alright, let's see if anything starts to appear out of the darkness. Is there anything here? Other than dancers, of course. It would be nice if thralls other than just or thrall options other than just dancers spawned here. Because then it would make this actually a decent spot to go thralling for people that are building on islands. Alright, I see I see dancers, so no one's built here. We can check the next island. There's a little fireplace. Little campfire, cute little thing. And the ghost wall comes into view. Big old gross green wall. Touch. Drone peril. Oh, there's some flotsam over here. We can just pick that up while we're at it. Just give me two little chests. Instantly, everyone's at attention to try and murder us. Goodness. I'm down, you guys. Tier two, tier three, tier one, tier three. Oh, there's some decent ones here. We've got some tier threeers. Right, let's keep on keeping on. Who we got with the rest of these islands here? It would have been nice if the uh, ghost wall was a little further back. It would be nice to be able to build on these islands. Like, more so than you can currently, which is, like, essentially nothing. You only get a sliver of each of these islands. It would be nice if, like, the ghost wall went, like, over here. And, like, started here. Or maybe even was, like, at the top, so you could have, like, the one half of that. And went around here, and it blocked off these islands, maybe. But so you at least could get these. There's more islands to build on would have been nice. Though it's really only necessary for, like, role players building really cool buildings and for PvP to try and stay away from players. It's like the only reason why you'd want to build out here is because it looks really cool. And to get away from other players because, you know, you don't want your base to get blown up. Okay, this place is empty as well. We'll keep going to the next one. But otherwise, like, being over here is just so unbelievably inconvenient to get anything done ever. Or at least it was until sorcery came out. And now that you have the ability to make teleporters to teleport anywhere, that you have a receiving teleporter at, uh, now it's not that bad. Because you could build over here with uh, maximum sorcery and then just... Have your teleporters at like convenient locations. Is that way you don't have to run back here from the uh, from the obelisk every time?
Yeah, so this, this curves around here and then goes through here and then it goes over to this area. Which we haven't actually scouted, so it's probably a good thing that we're going to be going back by foot. We have not checked through the spider's domain. So we should definitely go check that out. Because people will build next to the ghost wall on the high cliff. We've seen a few of them in our playthroughs in the past. So it would be good to go and check there. See what people have done. Just keep swimming. Exactly right. <laughs> Just keep swimming. Everything's gonna be okay. No, uh, we're not fighting this reptilian beast. This reptilian monstrosity. Ah, hey, we've already found a base. I'm not gonna fight this reptilian monstrosity, and there's a base. Yeah, that was quick. I honestly was expecting to see it on the walls, but hey, you know. Dagon's Claw. Yes, they walled this off. Who is this? Trent's. So we got a day's worth of time left before this decays. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not too sure what he was doing here. It's just... It's just walls. It's just walls. There's... There's nothing here of note except walls. I mean, it decays in a day, so we could actually come back here in, what, 25 and 26 hours from now and just delete it all if we wanted. But uh, there's no real benefit for it. The real question is if he's built up on this cliff up here. Welcome to the spider's domain. Yep, okay, well, we found it. <laughs> I was not expecting something this big. And there's that spider, by the way, that I was talking about. That's the big spider. Uh, we found it. The silk wood. Who built this massive... It's gotta be Trent, right? Barnyard built this. Really? Barnyard. The Barnyard? The guy that we went and found all those goodies in over in the desert territory? Barnyard? Oh, for goodness sakes, game, please. Oh. Okay, and now we... Now I have to go fight these spiders. All because it didn't let me climb all the way up. Come on now. So Barnyard's here. Very interesting. Oh, for... Goodness gracious. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll we'll climb on this instead of that. Maybe it's all the rain, right? We'll we'll, we'll we know it's a server side game mechanic issue, but we'll blame it on the. Okay, this place is hollowed out. <laughs> okay, man, this place is huge. You spent so much time on this. Wow, man, I wish I could pick this up and bring it with me, so I don't have to go and put my own Mitra altar down. Oh? Oh. Wow. Also, used a lot of different building materials, which... Interesting. But this tower is... This is an impressive build. This took a lot of time. These are gonna be empty. Oh, one shaped wood. I'll take it. One popsicle stick for our trouble. <laughs> I can't take it. I tried. Glued to the ground. High efficiency furnaces. We'll get some higher efficiency furnaces going at some point once we build out our base. Once we build the workshop. Such a wild build. Yep, empty. All right, let's go upstairs. Uh, doesn't look like that really brings us up anywhere, does it? 
Brings us to like a a manager's viewing platform. Work harder, minions. I mean employ I mean in valued employees. Work harder. Okay, it looks like we th this door is here, so I don't know if someone raided further in. Can't quite tell. But the front door was raided. Can we go up from here? No, there's a gate here. Hmm. The fish on the wall reminds you of the big mouse, the <laughs> big mouth Billy Bass. Yeah, the singing fish. Yeah. Oh, I can't climb this. He's got a fence up there. Uh, which means I can climb up this way. Get up on the roof. Looks like this is not the main building. That's the main building there. This is just a door. Oh, I whiffed. I whiffed it. I thought we were going to make that jump. We did not. Okay, we can just climb all the way up. We've got the stamina. It can be done. This place is huge. This tower is beautiful. I really like the design. Using the dungeon set for this looks really, really nice. Now, did anyone raid further up is the question. If so, they might have raided from the very, very top and not down here. I don't see any damaged walls or anything from here. Oh, I'll take that back. There's some damaged walls right here. Oh, of course there are. Ah. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll mark Barnyard here. We'll mark Barnyard here. Let's come back when we've got sorcery. We can come back tomorrow when we've got the ability to fly. We'll take a look at it then. Being able to fly would make this a whole lot easier to check out. We'll come back at that point. But that is a... Wild build, that's for sure. All right, let's still go check the far side of the silkwood here and see if anyone's built up on that ledge. Uh, it's not to get too close to the spider boss, by the way. Can't quite see up there comfortably. What we're going to do is we'll do this. We'll do a foundation sweeping. That way we don't have to climb all the way up. It'll pop up saying, land claimed. Not invalid, but it'll say, like, claimed land. Land already claimed. Bam, there we go. So someone has built up here. Well, like, just, just so we don't have to go check. Yep, the, the land is already claimed. So someone's up here. And that's how foundation sweeping works. My goodness, look at that tower. It's amazing. Wait, there's an opening at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can definitely go up there at some point. I don't know if we can climb this from here. We're we'll have to come from the other side. It's too precarious from this position. But someone is up there. Or at least there's a piece of building material up there. If nothing else. Well, actually, while we're here, let's grab some more iron. We're running a little low. Our furnaces aren't currently working on iron. They're working on steel, but... We'll need to work on more iron because we don't have a top tier blacksmith yet, so unfortunately that means our iron to steel production is quite inefficient. It's five iron bars to one steel bar. Very inefficient. As opposed to a one to one ratio. We just pick up everything we got. All right. Cleared. All right. Looks like that's kind of it in this area here. I don't see anyone else. There might be someone who's built up on that, but it's... Actually, no, I don't think so, because that's the other side of the... Yeah. We come here to go pick up our iron. Speaking of which, let's go pick up some iron. 
All right, so the only place for us to look now is who it was that built up there that created that land claim. Last thing to check. Let's grab this iron over here. While we're out and about. Only iron we can get. It's really steel reinforcements that I think are going to start turning into a bottleneck for us. I mean, granted, the hardened brick is currently the bottleneck for us, but we can make that so easily with the resources that are nearby. The iron is going to take a little longer. Running into steel going from there. Is cuckoo, although he destroyed my baby. Hmm. Well, Crybaby is part of the uh, Three Lessons clan. We're paying attention to. Oh, hang on a second. What? What is this? What is this? Who built here? Why do I not remember seeing this? Oh, because we've skipped this area, of course. Yeah, wait a second. Is that more of the same section or a different section? Three lessons. I think three lessons might have raided this guy. These look like raid huts. Yeah, that's a trebuchet. That's the lower portion of a trebuchet. Three lessons raided that guy. Three lessons has been a bit of a menace, huh? That's a uh, crybaby's clan. So we need to check up there. Well, I don't see anything that's rendered in. And it should at this range. I don't know why we're under attack. No, just keep that in mind. We'll come back when we've got sorcery. We can see it when we fly up. We don't have to do it right now. Speaking of sorcery, we really need to go do that. In the top right, you can see that's still our main objective, other than, of course, building out the base. Let's go ahead and get the iron and the like rolling. Let's make sure that all of our crafting stations are busy. I don't think there's anywhere we're going to go raiding right now. Uh, I think it's time for us to just go and focus on the base build. I think it's time for us to focus on building the base and doing some purge defense. It'll be good for us to go and focus on. I want us to try and fight higher tier purges. We've managed to defeat a tier 1 purge so far, but I'd like to go and fight like a tier 4 or something. And try and get up to where like we need some like really geared out followers to help us do it. You know? Get serious. <laughs> home sweet home. We'll go ahead and we'll make this flush with the... We'll make that a little more flush later. What just happened? <laughs> We got just like shoved so far away from that. It's crazy. Also, goodness, uh, that's a lot of text and chat. I kind of want to read that because this is going to be good to know. This is some um, server drama stuff that's being dropped for us. That it is invaluable information. All right, what do we have? All right, uh, lots of changes though since I came uh, came here solo as offline clan. Then got some of the buddies back and switched over. Okay, so they switched over to uh, 150 Rock Block. But Nike got attacked, demoralized them. Uh, all the real-life friends. Okay. So that's why... Okay, so Rock Block was actually a clan of multiple people. I thought it was just one player. So that's good to know. But also looks like they were demoralized, so they jumped off the server. Good news. It means they won't see the damage that we did to some of their buildings. Um, God take you. Die. You might be dying over there. Um, I remember you mentioned your name previously. 
But me and my husband only got back on Conan recently after being a long time since so your first PvP. Uh, but you like the, the conflict? Okay. Same same as us. Oh, Panther fighting. Oh, don't do that. We do way too much damage to our thralls. We we nearly killed him in one hit. Two. We do way too much damage to our thralls. Oh yeah. Ira. Who's Ira? More free lessons, members. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and let's get this rolling. I'm gonna take everything out of you. Let's go ahead and drop off your coal again, and we're just gonna put you on exclusively iron production. Put you on iron production, and you're gonna be on everything else. There's iron here, steel, uh, steel fire. Go ahead and sort it all out. Perfect, great things. Take the steel. Good. Uh, also, let's see what's in these. What do we get? We got. Holy jeez! What? Um, seventy. What? Seventy-six of Great Lotus Powder. Um, Scorpion Queen Venom. Lupin seeds, not that important. Yellow lotus seeds, not that important. Yellow lotus potions for stamina potions. We got elixirs of vigor. We have elixir. What? Wild. Okay. Uh, let's empty our inventory before we do another one of those. Uh, wow, those flotsam things have some pretty good good pieces in there. But we need to go pick up some hides if we want to get the tar rolling. I'm gonna keep that tar going. A lot of resin in here. We're gonna have to find something better to do with all this resin. Um, and let's have you go ahead and make us all of that. That wood in there, so it's fine. Go up to steel for making steel reinforcements. I guess let's go ahead and let's empty this stuff out. And what we broke down, so we'll make more. S no, 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 no. <laughs> don't, don't, don't go backwards. More steel reinforcements. There we go. Okay. Then let's go ahead and drop off you and you, you. Crystal can go in here. Lotus powder can go in here. Seeds. Sturdy. Look, my gifts. Weapon handles. Got weapon handles here. Uh, let's see. We've got some coal we can pull out. Maybe that'll more inventory space to play with. Weapon handles we can leave in here, actually. No reason to leave that in the big one. Your panther out there again. Drop off more wood. Go ahead and make me even more shape wood. Set up. Drop off coal and some iron for you. I will drop off some stone to the stone pile. That iron's not supposed to go in there, it's supposed to go in here. Perfect. The shape wood goes here. The twine goes in here. Plant fiber, we can go ahead and actually get this started back up with a smidgen of hide. Go to the pot a potions chest. And drop off our potions, which we can't because they're completely full. This whole chest is bursting. Um, go ahead and let's drink one of these and let's drink one of those. The those potions can stack now. You off. Uh, we can drop some of these, these rough wraps. We really don't need these. These are ones that we take. We got from raiding. We really should not be using rough wraps anymore. They're too low tier for us. We have plenty of aloe and we have plenty of light leather. There's no reason for us to use the rough wraps. Alright, let's see what we got. Bunch of beer. Okay. 
Is there a chest specifically we want to start putting our beers in? All of our consumable drinks. We should probably take them all out of here. Again, we're planning on... Well, I mean, we're going to have a cavern ourselves, so we probably should keep some in there. But we do need... We do want to go donate some. I'll just a bunch of yellow lotus potions here. We want to drop off in this. Oh. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and let's make one. Funny. People count as consumables. That's kind of funny. Uh, we'll just put it over here for now. I guess it does. It, mechanically, that's how it works. Because once you place them into the world, they've been consumed. But that is kind of interesting to think that they've got humans classified as consumables. And one thing of wine and one curative mixture. Really? That's all we found in there? A hangover cure and a bottle of wine. All right. Or a cup of wine. That's fine. We'll take that. That first one we opened was absolutely crazy. The rest were a little disappointing in comparison. Let's pop you off. And we'll pop you off. That coal. Give us more space in this vault because it's getting very tight in here. Is there anything else we can pull? That has a better place to be. Yeah, ice shouldn't be in here. It's just going to slowly melt over time and vanish. Take the steel out. We're going to need to use the steel for just steel's sake, though, at some point. That wall lantern. Um, coins. I think that's it for now. No space for ice in here? No. Oh, we can take some exotic flesh out and chuck that ice in there. Exotic flesh is so easy to get. It's just these rhinos next to us. No real, no real uh, need to keep it um, special. Go ahead and just convert that. Elephant hide's kind of useful. We could break down these vaults, but it, it, it won't hurt to have extra vaults on hand. These weapon kits will be nice to have for Thrall's weapons. I don't want to use it for ours, though. I'm not interested in doing that. Horns, sorcerer skulls. I don't think there's any use for these. Let's take these out. Withered skulls? We only have six. We're going to need more of those. Hmm. What's going on, Laser Roth? Uh, you've been having issues with your power recently? Oh, no. It's been preventing you from running your servers and networking equipment? Oh, that's no good. The past two days, the power company has been out to your area with their trucks. And since they left, you haven't had any issues. You think you should finally be able to get some stuff done without lights dimming, your fans slowing down, your PC turning off because of low voltage? Oh my goodness. So how many days did that go on there, Laser Off? I'm glad it's more or less resolved, but how long did you have to deal with that? Bread in here. Eggs in here. I think there's going to be some rotten meat in here I didn't notice. That's some of the stuff is decayed while in here. Maybe not. I don't see any. Consumables. Ah, oh, nothing. Hmm. Alright. It's fine. Some foods. We can go ahead and dump some foods in here. We'll again swap these out for pre-made food. Because again, exotic exotic flesh is super simple to come by now. Go ahead and convert this into compost. We've got a decent amount of potent compost here. It's quite nice. Wait, what? Two years? Holy jeez. What? But it just got bad over the last three months. Oh my goodness. But like, it's been an issue that has popped up from time to time. Oh, hold on a second. I forgot we had this for our bug meat. Uh, we can go ahead and we can keep this exotic flesh in our. Not in our thrall. No, not in the thrall. I did not want to open that door. Thank you. You can get stored in there. Oh, we do need to move that Thrall. We need to go train that Thrall, actually. The Sorcerer's Skulls, I 
think they're useless now. So what we'll do, I think that we can place them around if we want, but I think for now we're just going to go and... You can't even grind them? What is the point of these? What's the point of these brains? Hmm. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> vanished. <laughs> he spawned right as we show up. Nice. All right, home sweet home. Very nice. No enemies spawn in here. It's feeling good. How's it going, 160? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. We're going to need to get, like, lamps and torches and stuff in here. We definitely have to go make some candles to put in that um, things like hands. You know what? I think it might actually be better outside. Yeah, like right over the door. Upper corner of the door. Yeah, that looks good. To throw them at your enemies, maybe? Hmm. Maybe. How's it going, Comatex? Good to see you again. Welcome back. Been looking forward to today's stream after getting purge set up yesterday. Yeah, I'm excited. So we went, we did some exploring today. Uh, we found out that uh, Biddy up here is not actually done yet. Up here at Heliograph Heights. So it's not decayed. We need to actually go update that. Um, it's just a base. Actually, no, it's it's been raided, though. Now that I think about it. So on second thought, we can... We can actually delete Biddy. Because it, it, it's been raided. Don't have to worry about that. Yeah, you originally thought the, it was the wiring in your house, since it was originally built with a cheese... <laughs> built as a cheese factory? In the mid-1860s? Wait, laser off what? But as time's gone on, uh, we did some investigating and found the issue was outside the house. Your house is an old 1960s, or sorry, 1860s cheese factory. Wow. Um, that's, that's actually really cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's like made out of like stone, I imagine. Because I, I can't imagine the wood still being good after that long. Alright, so what do we want to do on the build side? How do we want to build out? Do we want I kinda wanna focus more on purge prep than I do on building right now. So let's go get our companion. We need to make sure she does not die. We need her. Badly. We need her. She is very important. Uh, keep this on you. And... Keep this on you. Uh, let's go ahead and fire off a little bit of gruel. Wow, does that clean up the, the light problem in here? Goodness. There's some spare gruel. Make sure you're topped off. Alright. She's currently level zero, so we're gonna have to baby her. But we're giving we have put some healing equipment in there so that we can force her to heal if things go wrong. We should probably bring a butcher knife with us while we're out here. I think I not a butcher knife. We'll bring a skinning knife with us, which I think. I don't think I left it in here. No. Go over there. Go over there, please. No, go over. Move that way. Move away from me. That way. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Get in. There's my skinning knife. Alright, now you can follow me. This building is not really designed to have two people in it. Alright, we're gonna go on a hunt. Hey, she's old. But you are gaining... You're not. Eat. Eat your food. Okay, now she's got that bonus. But she gained two strength, two agility, and one grit from that level. 
So no extra health, but she gained 2% extra damage. Pretty good. I had to do a little bit of damage so she would eat some food to heal. Which, because she ate the gruel, increases her chance of gaining strength by 14% per level. For each time she levels, 14% increased chance of getting a strength. Which is good. We want her to hit harder. The wood's still good after all these years because it's oak beams. Ah, okay. Some of them are 8x8s and 8x12s. Oh my goodness, those things are massive. Those things are huge. Hello, Rhino. Level. Rhino babies. Oh, actually, we might just go kill this guy's rhinos, these guys' pets. I, don't know, I think we get experience for it. Yikes, look how much damage we did to her. We did 65 damage. Yeah, these guys, there's, not, there's no point actually fighting them. They have so much health, it's ridiculous. What we'll do is we'll do this. We'll just keep hunting. There'll be some cats around here somewhere. There they are. Nevies. Oh, she she found it. Good job. It's already turning into an absolute killer. Yeah. Four strength, five agility. She's now up to 20. 20 damage. 20% uh, damage with her weapon, which is great. Because uh, don't forget, the weapons she's using does 60 damage. So 20% increased damage from 60. Pretty good. It's pretty good. It's an extra five damage. Right? No, it's 12 damage. It's extra 12 damage. A fifth of 60 is 12. But she currently does 72 damage per hit. And has 28 armor pen. 28% armor pen. This is really good. It's crushing it. I don't know how I hit him like that. I wasn't next to him. Oh, yeah. She's crushing it. I do really like that weapon. I'm glad we found it. We found it in a raid. It'd be nice to have more than just the one. I'd like one too. Hunt it down. Get it, Dietrich. Ah! Get him. Get him, Dietrich. Get him. Uh, Dietrich, go get that one that's standing still. I was dodging and weaving like nobody's business. You can only dodge a loop so long! Until there's a cliff. Must turn back. Good, she got him. Uh, somewhere. Maybe go fight some monstrosities, maybe? I can get this rhino down here. Some of the interior walls are over 16 inches wide. Wow. That's some sturdy building right there, Lacer off. Holy. Die. All right, how are you doing? Almost level four. I want I really want her to be level ten, ideally. Um because the problem is I'm concerned about her dying in the purge. Because when we were doing the purge in the last playthrough. The issue we ended up running into was our followers just kept getting mauled to death. I really do not want to be losing them. They take time to level back up. She's level 4 now. We need her at least level 5, but ideally significantly more than that. She's gained 100 health. That's pretty good to start. Oh, I'm actually, no, she's only getting 50 health. 40 health. Um, still going well, 22%. Good 
So she's now doing 14 damage. Extra. Really cool. Uh, when you renovated the house and tore up all the carpets, you could see the different expansions over the years because they would be beams where the old exterior walls was. Oh, interesting. Literally living in a piece of history. Curse you. She does a lot of damage. <laughs> she can definitely hold her own so long as she doesn't get staggered into oblivion, but that's the real problem we run into. That's the, the real problem is we get staggered into oblivion when we're dealing with the... Hello. Uh, when we're dealing with the purge, there's just so many of them. The other issue is that uh, if we try and get in there to help her, it's quite likely we'll end up missing our target and hitting her instead, or hitting her with the target that we're trying to hit, which then ends up killing her. We already did that with one companion this playthrough. Right, let's go drop off all of these hides. Started. Drop you off at the grinder. Let's drop off these horns because we need them to keep repairing our hat. And then we really don't need as much meat, so let's go ahead and just decay the meat. Go. Really don't need any of that. She's looking pretty good. We almost got her level 5. Excellent. So what we should look at doing next, we can continue to level her a little more. Go to level five real quick. We go fight some sand beasts, see if that works. Something I'd like to do though, you can insta level to 20 by clearing Al Mariah castle boss. Hmm. You lost so many good thralls and purges, it hurts. Yeah, I, I just, I would like a much faster way to level them. I just, I really need a a training thing. Like a, like a thrall training combat training station. And a Taskmaster slot so the Taskmaster can train them. Taskmaster tier 1 can train them to level 5. Tier 2 can train them to level 10. Tier 3 can train them to level 15. And tier 4 can train them to all the way to level 20. Right? Like, that would work. Nice it done. Right, like that'd be that would work. Taskmasters, get them on that. I don't know how I'm hitting him. I'm kind of like not near him at all. Nice. And levels rolling. Level five now. These guys are doing good experience. They're a whole lot easier to kill than I thought they were going to be. Hmm. From what little you can tell from the pictures of that house you found, the building existed before the town, really? So really, it was just a cheese factory in the middle of the woods. Oh, that's so cool. So the town kind of sprung up around it. Well, that's really cool. Yeah, I think we're going to start working on sorcery in a minute here. And then we'll work on more building. Because what we really need to do is we need to move our production facility from where it is to not there. We really need to move the production facility from where it is here, outside, to being inside the base, just so it doesn't interfere with the purge. But I also want to go and get some sorcery done. So I'm thinking either we start working on some sorcery stuff, or we're going to have to go and start working on the foundations for the uh, for the actual like facility to build everything. Unfortunately, I can't just pick everything up and move it somewhere else. I'm trying to remember what game we could do that in. I think there was a game we played that could do that. Blanket. <laughs> One where we can like move things that are attached. The whole set. Oh, no. Hmm. 
I think we'll get stores restarted first. While we wait for more building materials to be created. And the tavern's looking pretty good. The tavern setup over there is okay. I mean, the wall definitely could use some work. It does look a little weird with it uh, being as tall as it is. It does look a little odd. Um, hmm. Vote sorcery? I'm thinking sorcery. I'm looking at this and it does look really weird. It looks a little goofy. It looks a little goofy like that. We can just fill this in and make this uh, in, an indoor space directly inside the gate if we wanted. Uh, but yeah, let's get that Thaumaturgy bench built. Yep. Waiting for data. My favorite kind. Alright, so we need crystal, iron, crystal, iron, and what? Stone. Crystal, iron, stone, and some place in this base to jam this thing. Put it, put it here, I guess. Perfect. It, this won't cause problems at all, I'm sure. We can we can still get to the bench. It's fine. And we'll drop off the stone, the iron. Yeah, I really do want to get to a, a facility that we can actually see while we're running around inside of it. It'd be really nice. <laughs> It'd be a nice upgrade to the house that we have right now. Having this one high roof, it hurts me to my core. Okay. So now that we have this done, we need our Tome of Kurak. Get that tome over here. Alright, and sorcery pages. Page. Wow. We got a lot. Holy, okay. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We almost have enough sorcery page. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this um this one right here with the correct person can turn ten into one. That's 13, right? No, it's 11. And 11, 12. So we'll have 12. So we're one off. We need one more. New production area with multiple floors? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. So we literally are one off from having all of the things we need. Wild. All right, so we need some stone. And we need some putrid meats. And stone. Cracked. Right. Up the table. Learn the sorcery. Hey, blood right. Perfect. Cast a spell. We can do that in a minute. What's the next one we got on the list? Next one is Feral Flesh and Feather. Okay. Right? Now we have a feather in here. Either. One. Flesh. I think it was fine. Feral Flesh and a Feather. Is that right? Because it's still a false spell. All the way around. All the way around. And I knew I remember the numbers. Four feathers. Go ahead and learn slow fall. There we go. Word of power, slow fall. Alright, what's next? Next is meat and goop. We do that. Uh, it was savory flesh, right? And goop. 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 Oh, it's in, uh, it's over here. Goop. Glowing goop. Alright, drop off the glowing goop. 
Drop off the stone, too. We're not going to need that anymore. All right. I don't remember what spell this is. Grab this one next. We're going to try and just blast through sorcery learning if we can. Oh, yeah, that's Abyssal Mount. Weird to get Abyssal Mount from blowing goop and meat, but I guess that, that makes sense. Human flesh? Uh, we don't have any human flesh on us, do we? Well, that's unfortunate. We're going to have to go find a human. Make some flesh. All right, we need human flesh. Grab that. Uh, yeah, it's still a raid window. We could go kill one of the thralls up there. No, there were no thralls up there. They were just no, there were no thralls up there. Also, we're gonna have to get one of our, our dance around pack at some point here too. To be fair, you're pretty fa uh, you're fairly anti killing people. Uh, killing other people, so human flesh is pretty rare for you. True. That is true. We, we don't really go and enjoy murdering people all the time. We can get... Ugh, you picked the wrong fight! Annihilated. Decimated. <laughs> right. I guess the, the closest place we have for humans, I think, is actually literally here. It's the, we don't have... There are no humans that naturally spawn. There's some over here that are, like, placed. But the, the only place to find humans within our territory here is... Is literally here. That's the closest oh. one for us. <sighs> wow, she is absolutely... Well, look at the damage she does! You picked the wrong fight! Holy, is she dangerous or what? Yeah, we get her leveled up. She's going to be a menace. She's going to be a menace. It's going to be great. All right, we'll get the auto run on. Let me go and pour myself some more tea. Oh, we got a panther. I'm, I'm away from the computer. I'm AFK. Hold on. Hold on, lady. I believe in you. I'm AFK. Hold on. Let me come back with my tea. Did you get him? Yeah, she got him. I think. Maybe. No. Just scare the cat off, or did you murder him and drag him in a bush? All right. I have no idea where she murdered him. But he's dead now. They're humans by your starter base? Yeah, that's really far away, though. I'm just thinking, like, in comparison to where our base is right here, there are no humans that spawn within any of the squares next to us except at Drifter's Rest. It's the only one within a one-square distance from us. Holy jeez, look at the damage she does. You picked the wrong fight. Wow. There's so much damage. Also, how close are you to leveling up to six? There. Yeah, we definitely want to level her up as much as we can. I wonder how long it'll take your players in the Bloodborne 5e campaign to realize killing the four progression bosses take the Eldritch Moons. Wait, what? Make the Eldritch Moons appear more often? Oh, that's gonna be really cool. I don't I think it's probably gonna take them killing two of them before they notice. Definitely not on the first. But it honestly might take until the third one to like for them to really have it. Like Toxic USA? Who's this guy? Oh, merciless. I wonder who he's yelling at. He definitely sounds toxic to me. Go ahead and get it. Jump on over here and take you out. I need your man meats. Human flesh. I'm sorry, it's it's for a ritual. Yeah, no. Dastardly indeed. Hey, Sneaky Dragon. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. The pop-up is still not happening. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Uh, I don't know why. I haven't figured out why we aren't getting the pop-up for, for followers still. It's been almost a week for this happening. Very obnoxious. But thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome. Good to have you here. 
Are you a Conan player or a Conan watcher? And if you're a Conan player, are you one of the are you a PvP kind of player? Are you a PvE player? What kind of what kind of player are you? You are a role player. I'm assuming he's yelling at Elmo then? I'm not sure, because they're the two that are talking to each other. Unless Elmo's just antagonizing him. I don't know. Zelda streams are a vibe. Why, thank you. <laughs> Why, indeed, they are. What kind of vibe? Well, yeah, you know. You know. You know. If you know, you know. Alright, let's head on back. Let's get this uh, human flesh in there. We can go ahead and learn. I'm assuming this is Ray's dead. I don't know what else we need human flesh for. I think this is so we can get zombies. I don't know if, how often we're going to be raising zombies, but... And you're gone. Level 6, congrats. Yeah, she's starting to get a good chunk of health now. She's at 800 and change. A good one? Ah. <laughs> oh, we should probably start thinking about swapping over our build here. Uh, I think once we get our sorcery to max, we'll go ahead and we'll swap our build. So I want to go a strength follower sorcery build. It means it's going to take us a little longer to get around the map because we won't have the super speed and super climbing or anything. But I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be a good build. I have high hopes. Again, it was a build that we used briefly during the Age of Sorcery Chapter 2, I think it was. So it's been like a year since we've used it. We're going to keep the Rhino Hide. We just, I think we need that for something. Okay, we have more in the stack. Drop off the rest. Also, do we have... Yeah. Oh, we do have... Okay. We have more. Pop that off. Man, you jumping around makes me nervous. You stay there. <laughs> Just so you're not jumping around. You're making me nervous with those noises. Alright, human flesh and ball tie glance, which I know we have enough of. Okay. There we go. Get ourselves another spell. She has better health than you do? True, she's got more health than us now. What was that noise? We learned Wall of Fire. I thought it was something else. That noise made me very, very uncomfortable. Made me nervous though. I think we need human flesh for more stuff down the line. Alright, we need blood and brimstone now. Uh, I think all of our brimstone's been dropped off, right? Any brimstone. I'm sure we have blood in here though. Oh no, I don't. Yeah, I don't think we do. Oh yeah, we do. We have 159 in there. I thought all of it was up here. But that's right, we're gonna measure we're gonna meter the blood in as we need it. Okay, right, next. I don't even remember all these spells. What was this one? Grimstone, something fire related. Creeping darkness. Nothing fire related at all. Chemical base. Do we have the base up here? Uncle base is all in the chest. Ah, oh, with a demon blood, that's where it all is. Uncle base. Oh, having all these sorcery scroll uh, spell pages is amazing. Really speeding up the process. And detect resources have been acquired. Uh, oh no, we're in the withered skull territory. We're gonna be stuck on stumped on this one. Go. 
We only have six Wither Skulls. We don't have enough. So this, I think, is the last spell we can do. And after this, we're going to have to go get ourselves 15 of these bad boys. So 10 more, I think, is what we need. Some corpse. Oh, sorry. We did need 15 more. I was correct. All right, so we have four left. So we just blasted through... What was it? We had 11? <laughs> just blasted through seven spells. That was really good. Very efficient. Very efficient indeed. Let's go drop this stuff off. We're going to have to go and do... We need to do a brimstone run anyway, now that I think about it. So we can go do a brimstone run and try and pick up some withered skulls from those withered skeletons. Uh, and hopefully get her some more levels while we're at it. Uh, we will hold on to the human flesh, though. I think we're going to need another set of human flesh for the, uh, the upcoming spells to unlock. We'll hold on to that. It would be nice to get our dancer out, but I'm still nervous about placing our dancer and having them get attacked. We have one with us. I do want to get rid of our corruption. We'll go ahead and we can place her. Um, where? It's a great question. Uh, can we put her in the fireplace, maybe? Close to another thrall. Can you move over there for real quick for me? And wait there. There we go. Uh, and I need you, behavior, engagement. Um, we'll have you attack nothing. You're too low level to actually threaten anyone, so let's just let's just let you chill. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Go. Okay. Inventory. Set out. Time to go get us some skulls. Time to go acquire some skulls. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run all the way back up here to the Executioner's entrance. And that should get us what we need. Although actually we might go to the other entrance, the other side. I'm not sure which side we care about going in from. Oh my good gracious. All right. So, other than getting the skull, once we get the skulls, what's next on the list? At some point, we're gonna have to get dragon horn. We don't have uh, we don't have dragon horn. We don't have witch fire powder. We don't have. Is that all we're really missing? Is dragon bone, uh, dragon horn, and witch fire powder? I'm trying to remember if there's any other parts and pieces we need. Or sorcery. I think those are the last ones that we don't have on hand. There might be something else I'm forgetting. Maybe we need Dragon Bone as well. But Dragon Bone will get so much of when we go for the Dragon Horn. Let's see here. If we want to go and fight a dragon, the nearest dragon... Yeah, we're just going to have to go here for it. Oh, we didn't go and scavenge these, and I'm glad we didn't yet. But we can go do that. Oh, yeah, there's only one chest there. We can do that tomorrow. So tomorrow we can go ahead and break in these. If we ran really fast and picked up our stuff, we could go for Dawn Brigade and take open that one wood chest, but I doubt there's anything really of value in there. Let me tell her to stop real quick. Who is this again? Joe's. Back to return. Oh my, yeah, she's healing right now, so she's been fighting someone. Okay. Yeah, so after this run, I think we're going to go and respec. That really brings up the question then. If we're going to respec, do we want to respec into a 
preliminary build for the strength, uh, the strength follower sorcerer build, or like the full build? Do we want to play with the actual corruption for it? Hmm. You know, one of the issues we're going to run into is uh, getting sacrificial blood is going to be tough. tell her to fight those guys. I want her to. Would you fight that guy for me, please? Not just slowly get eaten. You gonna attack? If she's not attacking, we have to go on land. We have to bring her back to us. If she's not gonna attack, she's just gonna be eaten alive. So let's not do that. She's just standing there letting crocodiles munch on her. Yeah. Oh, and... She's in her power stance right now. None shall pass. Okay. Um, very, very intimidating. Very intimidating. Could you, could you not do that and instead actually murder things next time, please? Thank you. I said on back over here. We'll head on through this way. But yeah. So we need to get to. Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's any other materials that we need. We're definitely going to have to go and jump over to the Dagon dungeon. We could just do that now while we're out and about. We just need to learn how to make witch fire powder. We have got, we've got enough glowing goo that we can actually make the witch fire powder. we got enough glowing essence as well that we can make it too. But we need to go and actually earn it. So we need to go learn it. So we could go ahead and grab our brimstone stuff here. And skulls. Warp from the sinkhole, because I think there's one over here, down there, and grab that. Maybe even jump up here and fight a dragon or two while we're out and about. Maybe we just go crazy. Grab anything and everything we need. Can we check inside this building? Oh no, that's just a training. Yeah. Just a spot that people have to use training animals in. But we could we could probably go fight a dragon right now. We probably have what we need. Come on, Deidre. And she's going to earn a new name soon. I'm so excited for her. She's going to finally get a proper name. Not one that she was born with, but one that she has earned. God, take you. Wow, so good. So powerful. All right. Behavior, engagements, I want to make sure you are actually on guard me. Oh my goodness, am I stuck on you? That's awkward. Would you move over there, please? Thank you. I'm just like phasing through me. Goodness. Holy spiders. Jeez, that's a lot. Holy spiders, Batman. There's a bunch of them out here. Stamina. All out. Watcher's way station. Ooh, coin! I'll take that. I sure we'll take the bat hide. I'll take that coin. Coin's always good. Well, that's a tier 3 sorcerer. Actually, uh, hold off. Here, don't, don't fight that sorcerer. Let's actually hold off on that sorcerer. Uh, let's go and train that sorcerer. Uh, we don't have a... We didn't bring any of our stuff to train people, though. Oops, wrong button. Uh, but that tier 3 sorcerer would actually be worth grabbing. Because we are going to run out of sorcerer scrolls. I mean, if we find a couple more, we'd be fine. Go home, you. Yeah. We can go ahead and grab a sorcerer later. We we'll want one on the bench anyway, just like for visual sake. Sorcerers are only useful for making the sorcerer spell pages, the sorcerer scrolls. Once you've gotten all your, once you've learned all your spells, they're just not worth it. Wait, what? Oh, there's a player here. Awkward. Okay. Deidre, I need you over here. You're not allowed to do any collateral damage to that unconscious man. If you do, he'll know about us. 
We're still trying to fly under the radar uh, until we're set. Oh my god, there's just so much damage. Uh, that ragdoll is pretty brutal. Get him. Get him. I don't know this guy's name. Looks like he's just barely in the Iron Age. Lighting in here. Okay. Over here, you. Alright, DJ, I take I take that back. Could you by any chance engage and murder everything in sight? That'd be great, thanks. You take the wrong nice, just get some good levels out of this too. Now so long as I don't do any damage to her, she should be fine. This mace should do some serious damage to these uh, skeletons are gonna be fighting in a minute. The thing I am worried about is the skeleton boss. He might be a bit too much for her to handle. I'm hoping she, she can get another level here out of these spiders. I doubt she's going to get another level, but... If she could just get another level, maybe a little more stamina, or a little more um, vitality. More health. Not quite there. Oh yeah, she's crushing it. Extra 26% damage. Really good. Come on, DJ, over here. DJ, right here to me. All right, looks like it's just skeletons. Okay, good, good. Just the skeletons. All right, let's take them down. As long as the big boss isn't here, we'll be fine. I believe she'll be okay, because she's going to do so much more damage to these skeletons than even I'm going to do. Because I'm using an axe, and she's using a mace. Yeah, she's absolutely tearing through them. Tearing through them. I can only tap these guys. I can't do a full attack. I have to cut. I have to cut my uh, interrupt my attack. Also, I might hit her. Nicely done. Go over there for me, please. Thank you. Want some future meat. And some raw ash. Nice. One withered skull. Good. That puts us at six. We need twenty. Seven. Where are the rest of them? This swarm we killed more skeletons than that. The big scary boss. There's a spider under the ground that sees us. Good. Deidre. Get up there. <gasps> All right, and you can have Adam. Taste okay, I'm staggering him. Nicely done. Wow, gold, silver, hardened brick. Nuts, that was crazy. That was a lot of good stuff. All right, another wood skull. Nope, oh, okay. I think he just warped. I think you can't get to him. That's fine, we'll go fight these next. Did you get over here? D3? I'm worried you're gonna do something dangerous. Come back to me, wherever they are. I don't know if she's gonna be able to navigate getting through this door. Seems to be struggling with the concept. Kitten. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't actually expect her to make it in here. Whoop. Whoop. You got him? Jack. Silver. Nothing off that guy. Right, DJ, you've got this. 
Uh, she's taking like no damage. Look how fast she heals. Yeah, this is the, the stagger into oblivion thing I was talking about, which is the real problem with the purge. Is that since she can't dodge out, if she starts getting staggered, she's she's hosed. If she can get an attack off, wow does she hit hard. We got more skulls. Okay, four skulls. That puts us at nine. All right, ten. Eleven. Excellent. We're at eleven skulls now. Well, you. Eleven skulls. All right, we're going to fight the big boss now. Deidre, take the little ones. Oh my goodness, where do all these little ones come from? Uh, Deidre, there's a lot of them in here. I'll keep the big one busy. Maybe. I can try to keep the big one busy. Deidre, I need you to get some more swings in there. Oh, the big guy hits very hard. Come on, Deidre, I believe. Go and, go and hit the little ones. I need her not to fight the big guy. I'm nervous about her getting killed by him. Oh, dodge it. Deidre, I trust. Jeez, I need to get the small guy. I whipped him. Ah, staggered me. Okay, got him. Ah, she leveled, nice. Okay, I need to not die myself here. Okay, she got some attacks off. Perfect, now she's cleaving through them. That I like seeing. I crippled. Okay, that's good enough. We're out of here, Deidre. You gotta back off. Deidre, come on. Uh, Deidre, just hit them. Deidre, we gotta run. Deidre, move. Deidre, move! Man. She got stuck on the other side of him. She wouldn't follow me. Every time I tried to follow, make her follow me, she wouldn't. Because this guy's body, he uh, he's a really big hitbox. Uh, disappoint. And now I have to go find A, another tier. Uh, actually, I don't even know where her body went. Her body's missing. Oh, that really sucks even more. We can't even get the super cool weapon back. Ah, oh, I'm super bummed out. Yeah, rip Deidre. If she killed him, she was going to get a name. She was, she was about to be bequeathed with a brand new personal name. We have to go get another tier 4 fighter, which unfortunately takes an hour to train, which is not that bad, because again, it used to be 25 hours. But still, we have to go and train a new one from scratch. This is this right here... Sips tea. This right here is the reason why I really, 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 really want Conan Exiles to put in a way for you to be able to train your thralls without actually having to take them out into dangerous situations to train them. Because it takes a really long time to train them, you know? We got her to, we just got her to level 10, right? Which is the, it's, it's, it's faster at the lower levels and longer at the, at the higher levels to get them leveled up, right? So we just got her to halfway point to her max level of 20 and she ended up dying. And it just would be so nice if there was like, hey, put them on this thing for four hours and now they're max level. Just so you set, forget, don't think about it. You can get a whole bunch of them. Give me that. Okay. All the spiders will respawn during this time, too. So, actually, we were in trouble regardless. Because regardless of what was going to happen, uh, these spiders are going to start respawning on top of us, which <laughs> they're going to be dead. So, it didn't matter. The fact that she died the way she did, or if... So, uh, we're going to take her body and soul with us. 
if she ended up dying off of this or uh, from that guy killing us or, you know, a minute later when these guys would spawn in, it didn't matter too much. She was, gonna, she was, she was destined for death either way, unfortunately. Is what it appears to be. But she did a good job. She held her own pretty, for quite a while. So it was pretty good. She isn't the strongest fighter out there, though. Do keep that in mind. Um, we picked up Deidre from the caves. I think she was like a... Was she just like a Sumerian or something? That boss is actually a real pain. Uh, were there any other bodies that she left around here for us? Yeah, I was not expecting an additional six skeletons to pop out. I thought it was just strictly the big boy left. What I should have done is, as soon as I realized it was more than just the big boy, I should have, I should have backed off at that point. Oh, we got some witch fire powder on that guy. That was actually quite. That was very convenient. Quite happy about that. Yeah, I should have backed off at that point. The other thing is that we do need to switch over to the follower build if we want to have sturdy followers. We could take our dancer with us, I guess. That's kind of it. Uh, we can get withered skulls from looting over here as well. Not just from these skeletons. How many did we get? We got nine. Nine, five back home. That means we only need six more. It's not that bad. Let's go check the cannibal camp here, see if any of them are in there. Let's head back home and grab our thralling equipment. We'll then go and check a couple of thrall spots uh, near here and see if we can go and capture a new fighter for us. So bummed out about Jidri. I was just getting, I was just starting to get attached to her too. Oh, we got some dried fish. Oot. I was just starting to get uh, attached to Deidre. What the heck is that? Let's text her shell back. Okay. Fighter. Fighter. No named individuals. Okay. Anything good? With shrunken head. We'll take that. That's treasure. Extermied imp. Extermied rock nose. Found a sack of ash? What? We picked up one raw ash? Huh. I always wonder why I said they're like press E to interact over there. Now I know why. You can pick up one raw ash there. That's a it's very inefficient pile of ash, just gotta say. <laughs> this is a better place to go grab. I grab ash from. Sweet tea or unsweetened tea? Hmm. It's a good question. I like bitter tea, so I, I go for unsweetened tea myself. Or be able to pick them back up in the mid-fight. That would be kind of nice if you could pick up your uh, withdrawals mid-fight. But I can see that being an issue with PvP. Right, imagine in PvP, like, you're getting... You're, you're fighting, you're like trying to take over someone's base, for example, and they just keep picking up their thralls right before they die and then placing them back down with full health, or putting them in their pocket, running inside their base, dropping them off, letting them heal back up, bring them back out again. It'd be it'd be a cool idea, very Pokemon-esque, but uh, I think that wouldn't work in the PvP aspect of the game. That's great. Do we have anything here for us that we wish? Why do these keep vanishing on us? Ooh, a bearer three. Dude, bearer threes aren't as important as they used to be, huh? Okay. Bearer threes used to be super important whenever you find these. It would be like an absolute godsend, because bearer threes, they drop uh, material packs. They just picked up. And they often would drop uh, alchemical base. More treasures. And that alchemical base that we get out of these, it'd be like 500. Yeah, or two, 250. 250 alchemical base. Which was huge, because the like, alchemical base costs gold and silver. But the thing is, ever since the loot update, silver's relatively common. Gold's relatively common. It's not that hard to get these days. You didn't interact. What am I interacting with? You'll dance for me now, or swing for me later. Hopey, hope might. Yeah, also, you know what? If we were strength, if we actually had our build being properly strength for our weapon, that would have helped. We might have actually killed that thing in time. 
Yeah, I think it's time. Ooh, even more. More gems. I think it's time for us to do a, uh, a respec. Right. E to interact with what? The pitcher. We got desert wine out of the pitcher. Wild. I didn't know that was a thing. Watch your flanks. <laughs> me and me mates are thick as thieves. Wow, that's a fighter one oh. a lot of help. Holy. He was sturdy. This here is a steel uh, cleaver, which is incredible to find a steel cleaver here. At this point in the, uh, in the zone, that's actually quite nice. It's like really good, actually. And the loot that you can find around the world now is just so much nicer. Name because the water here is terrible and you can't afford a water filter. I see you drink unsweetened iced tea constantly. That makes sense to me. I mean, honestly, I'd do the same thing. More beers. We gotta make a run up to our uh, our role player friends and drop off like an absolute collection just to, of beers. What do we have? Fighter one, carpenter one, fighter two, archer one, and a carpenter two. Okay, that's fine. And that base over there, which I think we've already explored. Now on you. You'll dance for me now. And there we go. And just the archer remains. Get him with a zig and a zag. Oh my curse, gotta eat. We'll have a victory snack after. Oh nice. Or gemstones. Hey, we found some good some good treasures here. We'll abstract something we can actually use. Yeah. We found a decent amount there. Yeah, more treasures. Actually, some pillows, too. Take the urns. We found some decent gear in here. A decent, uh, decent treasure. Nice. Victory snack sounds good? Yeah. Go ahead and eat some Stygian infantry rations and wrap ourselves up so we stop bleeding out. Probably should have wrapped ourselves up first. We're not bleeding all over a meal, but, you know, it's fine. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Target lock you here, buddy. Archer 3. It's a lot of taxidermy stuff. Alright, let's head out. Uh, let's head back to our base. Let's go and respec. I don't think we had any other fighters, did we? Those rations can be kind of dry. Blood adds the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and let's change out our attributes. So we're going to drop agility so we actually get the bonus damage to our, uh, to our strength weapon. It's going to be a huge upgrade. It's going to be a, a staggering amount of extra damage that we're going to get by upgrading and doing that. Uh, oh, we're gonna have to drop. We're gonna have to drop our ability to carry everything in the world if we want to do follower. So I guess we aren't going to do. We aren't gonna do follower build yet. Maybe we can. Let's take a look at it. We can just take the ingredients with us back to our other base. That would work. Last Master Tier 1. Armor and Exile. And all that slow tier stuff we can't use. Alright. Homeward Bound. Minus one friend. Ooh. Whoa, hang on a second. We got a Demon Boy. You really want to fight me after I just defeated a demon shield back? What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, hey, you know, I'll take that one up. Take the hides. Okay. I will take the demon blood, thank you. 
Oh my goodness, wait, you dropped Shale Bloom? Seriously? Holy jeez. Amazing. <laughs> drop Shade Bloom. Cool. Give you some more human flesh? Nah, nah, nah. We don't need no. We don't need any more human flesh. We need withered skulls. We need old bones. We need some old bones. Jeez, oh, what's the raindrops over here? I don't think there are any big bases over here we have to worry about. Hmm. Oh man, I just can't I can't stop thinking about how much I really want Funcom to add a way to train your thralls without having to have them follow you. Because in the Age of War with the Purge, you just need so many high level thralls and they just die so quickly. Having a way to train them up would be really cool. Also, besides, think about this. In a castle build, wouldn't it be really, really cool to have a couple of like target dummies or practice dummies or something and have like uh like gladiatory looking kind of like combat training where you've got your you got like five thralls standing in a row swinging their swords in unison practicing their their like their attacks they would just look so cool and it would actually make the taskmaster worth having again because the taskmaster is kind of not worth that much what does the taskmaster do well the taskmaster when placed on a wheel of pain reduces the amount of time it takes to train a thrall oh that could be very useful since it takes a tier 4 thrall 20, 25 hours to train, having a, having a Taskmaster on there that reduces the training time by 50% is pretty incredible. That means you get, or no, by 75%, that's pretty incredible. It means you only need 6-ish hours to train a thrall tier 4. That's really cool. Well, we just upgraded it. Now it, only, it actually only takes an hour to do it. So you're saying that going from saving yourself like what 19 hours of waiting for a thrall now all a taskmaster does is save you 20 minutes i can find something to do for 20 minutes i don't need a taskmaster on a wheel of pain <laughs> they're not valuable anymore they're worth less than they were before they're literally worthless they're literally worthless than they used to be make them make them valuable again Give them a job to train people, right? Like, that would be so cool. All right, let's go drop this stuff in here. We have bones on bones on bones. We'll go stash those here. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just chuck the actually, chuck rule on you. Might level you up a little bit, to be honest. I don't like the Defari garb on you, but we're going to go put the Hyperborean armor on you for now. Just to make sure you're a little safer here. Uh, we'll hold on to the Defari garb, though. Their shoes. Oh. All right, let's go drop off some stuff. Chemical base. Oh, this is full. I got too much junk on me now. A booze chest for all of the booze. Desert wine. Some liquor. Regular wine. Honey whiskey. Cool. Desert Grog gives you a. Uh, some of this stuff will heal. Some of this gives stamina bonuses. Some of this gives strength bonuses. And, um, agility bonuses for damage. That off of you. Oh, geez. These are slammed full. Okay. While you don't use putrid meat, we'll just stuff the putrid meat in here for now, just so we have a place for it to sit. Oh my goodness, I'm out of space. Oh, that's okay, we can go jam more in here in the meantime. Um, we'll jam some more in the- we'll put some of the blacksmith bench, sure. All this get converted one day. One day it'll all get converted. It's fine, don't worry about it. Stack these. Stack these. 
is. And then flesh. Flesh. Perfect. Wait, a 3v1? Whoa, what's going on in chat here? Slick's part of Swamp Donkeys. There's only one person per clan. Well, there's two here. Actually, it'd be 2v1. Potentially. That's not good. There's some evil, aggressive people out there. Yeah, I heard some footsteps out there, but I think it was a rhino. I don't think it was anything dangerous. We're past the raid window, so they can't attack us in here. We could just hide in here. The only thing I'd want to do is stop opening up chests. Because they make, you know, opening noise. Opening noises uh, if there is a guy out here. But yeah, it sounds like there's a rhino that's walking around. This off in here. That rolling. Uh, the smelter that smelts all. Holding some silver for you. Uh, do we have some more? No, we don't. Okay. The reason I thought we did. Okay. Uh, do we have potions? Potions, potions, wrappings. Yeah, those are the wrappings we gave her to try and heal her. Yeah, sad. Oh no, those hops don't go in here. Which fire powder does though? Yeah, we need more. We need a lot more of that actually. Our chemical base goes in here. It's full. It'd be nice if we could. Take that dust and do something with it, but we actually can't. Once it's turned into dust, you can't convert it out of dust. It's disappointing. Uh, I'll take that gold. Gold. Last piece of gold here. Gold. Dust blank. Keys, those, that hide. We don't want to put it in there. Hold on a second. Clearing out our inventory. We're going to need a proper dump chest at some point here. <laughs> They're getting a little full. Those off. No, let's just drop, let's just drop everything off if we can. Almost drop everything off. Perfect. Good weapons. Is there any garbage in here we want to get rid of? I want to carry this. I want to carry this. It's fine. Armor instead. And the armor we're throwing away. Hold on to it for now. Materials. Materials to be taken out. A stack with something else. I'll start pulling out coins soon. Iron and steel. Which fire powder. Coal. Hide. Branches. There's that ore. Oh, it's, not, it's just called stone. It doesn't have ore in it. Uh, let's take these heavy coin purses. Gold dust, silver dust. Those might stack. Powder. Okay, let's try this real quick. It hides in here. Put the steel and iron in here. Take that steel directly out. Make more reinforcements. We're going to start working on uh, hardened stone in a moment here. Hardened and stone's going to start being our limited resource here. Actually, it is our current limited resource, so I take that back. Uh, let's go ahead and take the steel production out of here. Keep you on top of the hardened stone. Steel bars. 
So finish all your iron and then create steel after that. Perfect. Cool. Real quick, actually, make us some gold and silver. Good. Drop off these pillows, because we'll hold on to those, so sound good. We'll need them for the bedroom whenever we get that set up. Drop off the dust. I had a feeling that would stack. Silver bars. You can drop off in here. Same with assassins, actually. Essence. Bars and ore. Or bars, which fire powder will actually leave in here. Steel cleaver, I mean, useful to have, but we don't actually need it. We actually need the steel more, so we'll convert that. All this iron, let's go ahead and get that in here. Become steel. Looks like we can use a little more steel fire. Oh, we didn't get any brimstone when we were over there. I got so distracted by us getting murdered. Or not us, but uh, by Deidre being murdered. That I completely forgot the whole point we were there was to... Well, we went to go get skulls mostly, but we needed the brimstone too. So we'll have to go into a brimstone run while we're over there. The weapons... We'll take this. We'll take that. Consumables. Anything else we can pull out that's useful to... No, get rid of that. Pull this out. Pull out the mead. Human flesh can sit in here for now. Hopefully rot. And placeables. I'm happy with all the placeables we have in here. We got nine withered skulls. We need six more withered skulls, and we can go ahead and finish this part of the Tome of Karak. Mead. No meat in here. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead. These things we can open, if I remember. Yeah, consumable. We can open them. All right, what do we got? 70 and 20, like, look at this. 70 and 23 coins. So many coins. 47 and 59. You get so many coins out of these. It's crazy. 56 and 23. And 55 and 43. It really makes getting gold and silver so trivial for alchemical base. We just almost got 200 alchemical base just from those four. Crazy. Take a look here. Uh, ah, our, our role-playing friends are offline. Darn. Because otherwise I was going to go and do a do a quick beer run. Is there anything to learn that we need? I mean, this would be the thing, is to actually make the upgraded versions of these. This could have saved her if we had the upgraded version. Hyperborean slaver armor. Wouldn't hurt to learn it. Costs what seven? It's not much. And I think we're gonna wear that instead of the Kabujan armor. That'd be for agility, this is for strength. Those are fine, they're not as sturdy. Hmm. Oh, we can also get the concentrated aloe. Yeah, that's that's a good one to get. Upgrade our aloe that we're playing with. Go ahead and unlock you. Let's unlock hatches. Let's unlock fishing, because at some point we'll probably need some fishing. Uh, rugs? We should unlock rugs. Rugs sound good. Banners? I don't know if we really need banners. Uh, candle. Yeah, we need candle making. We're going to want to be able to do golems. Golem sound like something fun to play with. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get the Hyperborean armor. Unlock that. I don't think we're going to take the Kombuchan armor. I think we're going to stick with just the Hyperborean. There's going to be a massive upgrade in strength here. So you can see the basic one is 45 armor on boots, and the upgraded is literally double the amount. There's diminishing returns in the amount of like strength you get. Or, uh, reduction in damage you take, but still, all the same. How's it going, Icarus? How have you been? Good to see you again. Laser Roth, you're out of here? All right, take care, Laser Roth. Have a good one. But yeah, it's it's much, much better. And also, if we gave her the Sumerian Steel stuff, she would have lasted longer, too. Actually, that's really good stuff. 
225. Gives a health boost as opposed to a damage boost. Not bad. So we need perfected heavy padding. What do you need for perfected heavy padding? Elephant. Ooh, I don't know if you have elephant. And then hardened leather. Here's some elephant. We have an insane amount of hardened leather. <laughs> so we're good there. Okay. Uh, then we need the twine, which... Oh no, where are we going to find some twine, am I right? Perfect. And just, we'll leave a whole stack of twine in here. Heavy six, nope, we need five. One, two, three, four, and five. I think the... Yeah, it looks like it'll be the... Um, the hardened leather we'll be struggling with. But also having this guy being a temperite means we'll get extra bonuses in the amount of armor this thing blocks with. This is good. The Hyperborean chest piece blocks 315. That's really good. Yeah. Alright, should have done this. Oh well, so it goes. We need heavy padding, actually. We need to go learn that. What's going on? Man, been a thing. Been working... Oh my goodness, you've been working 80 hours a week since before Christmas trying to get um, this grant off the ground? That sounds incredibly rough. Finally have a night to chill out and have some drinks and annoy your favorite streamer? Well, welcome. You have earned it. Good to have you. Gonna look for a new fighter? Yeah, we need to go look for a new fighter. That's all we have, our whip bindings and our um, our steel truncheon. We have to go on a hunt. We have to go on a hunt. Uh, let's see here. Knowledges. We need to go and get armor plating, I guess, is what we want. It's the best bonus for thralls is armor plating and not anything else. The repair stuff. Smith. There we go. Armor Smith. Armor Smith. Thick armor plating. I think it's the best thing we can get for them. Uh, and then, oh yeah, that's right. We removed our tinker bench from upstairs. Tinker, 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 tinker bench. In smithing, tinker bench. There it is. Wood and iron. Okay, we can do that. Wood. Uh, and iron. Put it outside, it's too tall for in here. Uh, and the heavy one takes just thick leather and twine. Easy peasy. Got the twine. Uh, the thick leather. Is there any elephant hide in here? Just trying to hide. Right, perfect. We're plating one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. So are you respecting to fight uh, Millennia again? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that fight was insane. It was a good fight. It was so, it was so, just like, it was honestly anticlimactic the way we ended up defeating Melania. We ended up beating her by using, what was it, like the stealth magic missile spell and just kiting her. That's how we ended up defeating her in the end. Kind of brutal. Or steel. Not off in here. Viper, Borean Ama. Who's, loves, Helm, loincloth, uh, waist guard. And again, again, we've got with the burn breeches, we've got the best upgrades you can possibly get for it, which is good. Good old burn breeches. I cannot wait until we move all of our crafting stuff out of this room. 
Uh, but yeah, so we'll get this all built up. I think we ourselves are personally going to run around in that armor. Until we have a thrall to give it to. I think we're personally going to wear it, because it's just going to be such a huge upgrade in terms of armor compared to what we're currently playing with. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and let's respec from agility. While we are at it. Uh, what do we need for respec potion? We need... It's knowledge, because we don't want to do that. We need just some blood and a flask. Flask. Water. And some... Probably some more blood than that. Oh, we squished all of the... I forgot that Future Meek gets switched, squished into Icker. Whoops. That's funny. We forgot that was a thing. Uh, blood... Where did I put all my blood? Oh, I put all my blood in here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Here, you can have half of the blood in our sorcery table. Get our half in here. Okay. Peace to memory potion. Let's go. I forgot all my things. We're like already almost encumbered just from our armor and our weapon, uh, armor and um, gear. That's crazy. Uh, it was still one of your favorite times uh, in your time on Twitch. Just watching you so calmly try and try and try and try again. Cheers to you, Zal. You're the best of us. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It was a lot of fun. I mean, the thing is, again, I know I'm an oddball. I really enjoy very, very tough challenges in games. I, I like I like the struggle. I enjoy it. I know I'm an oddball with that. Oh, we're so heavy. Oh, man. Slow encumbrance. Life's so hard. Not used to this encumbrance weighing you down kind of thing. None of this stuff actually goes in there. Uh, it's Icor, not Icor. Yeah, I know. I know. But it's one of those. It's one of those words where, like, you know, it's it's soda, not pop. What's wrong with you? It's not Coke because that's that's a brand. If you want a Coke, but you want a Pepsi, then oh, you're crazy. What are you talking about, right? It's a dialect thing. It comes down to where you're at and where, how you learn to say a thing. It's uh, caramel, not caramel, right? One of those things. But so the, I always come back to the same thing is it's so long as you can understand what I'm trying to tell you and there's no confusion involved, mission accomplished. Knowledge passed. We're good to go. If you can't, then we have a problem. But so long as the stuff that I have in my brain is able to get into your brain, good to go. It's the claw, it's the claw. <laughs> How's it going? How you doing? Well, you've already been hanging out here. What am I talking about? One, well, you've been here already. There we go. Armored up and ready to rock. All right, so we just, so let's go ahead and swap back to our, our standard, normal, boring kombucha armor here. So our normal kombucha armor here gives us 207. Gives us 207. Actually, and let's do attributes real quick. Let's do the attributes here. If we want to do an authority build, but we'll do it later. We'll have to go and reset. Um, but for now, we definitely want to go full vitality with fast healer this time, not resurgence. And with glutton for punishment. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves... Uh, max expertise, because we're still going to be running around across the map. So we'll still go ahead and grab Careful Harvest. And the most important one of them all, Beast Burden, my favorite. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... And going to Berserk is really as far as we ever need to go. So the combo finisher does 20% more damage. We're not going to get a lot of combo finishers off. We could go for this, but this isn't going to be useful until we start reducing our expertise. And we will do that at some point. So for now, we'll do Combo Master. And we'll still get ourselves all the way up to 15 for Berserk, so we're low on health. We do more damage, more importantly, we take less damage. I'll we'll put the remaining 5 in here for Grit, so we have a little more uh, energy to run around and do stuff. Right? So now, when we look at our weapon, which used to do 40... Uh, used to do 52 damage. Used to do 52 damage. Its damage is now 91. Because they have... 30, 36 damage coming from strength. An extra 7 coming from our armor. 
and a base 48 from our weapon. Now... Wait, what? An extra 2%? What do you mean? Why is that the same? Do I have to, it's like, do I have to reset my weapon? Now it should be more. It isn't. It's the same. How is it the same? This is more. It's five more. Was it 91 before? Am I just misremembering? I bet I'm just misremembering. Yeah, yeah, okay. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Five extra damage. So we get five more damage from that. It's good. So we're doing uh, an additional 36 plus five. So an extra 41 damage per hit with our weapon now. Crazy. Fancy armor? Yeah. Or no, fantasy armor. It's true fantasy armor. Yeah, because it... This doesn't really... I mean, this stops us from getting gutted, but I mean, it's still going to destroy our pecs if someone lands an attack, right? Wrap ourselves up here. Your guy looks like he's Mr. July in the Conan Exile calendar. <laughs> oh my goodness. Actually, I can, do, I can do you one better. I can do you one better. Hold on. Let's see if I can do you one better. I think I, think I can. Uh, weapon away. Uh, blow kiss. Do we have a relax? Oh, we don't. Oh, that's because we we skipped it. I think it's at Enderketto. Uh there's this you know we could do to be lounging, yeah. <laughs> Come on, here, real quick. Ah, yes. Look to me. Uh, all right. We're set. Let's go ahead and let's drop off our old armor in here. Perfect. Oh, I see. These have the things to make them lighter. That'd be good. We can do that with our own armor once we get that set up. All right. So we also now take significantly less damage, don't we? What is our defense now? Our damage reduction is 70%? Holy jeez, we take 30% of inbound damage. Compared to 37% inbound damage. Ow! Wow! That is huge. 33 extra armor def uh, protection. That's crazy. We take no damage at all. Yeah, this is why I want to go like Sorcerer Bale. The thing would be really cool. Alright, so let's go on a hunt. Is there anything else we need to bring with us? Or we get to go? We should probably refill our... Our, loot, or, our uh, wraps and our potions. That's it. Alright. We need to hunt for a new person and something else, right? Yeah, fight a dragon. And get some more skulls. I tried to bring that mace with us, but I'm going to leave the mace for now. Alright, let's head out. It's also uh, caramel and caramel are two distinct things. <laughs> Concrete is actually a fun example. Concrete means a real experience or existing in reality, whereas uh, concrete is a hard, is a very hard material, building material that is has been used. Uh, wait, material. This has been your uh, pediatric information <laughs> session. Oh my goodness, a pedantic information session. Thank you. I appreciate it, Icarus. Thank you for coming down with the uh, with the encyclopedia, and giving us that info. Or like he's the door guy at a fetish club, and he likes to be referred to as daddy. I mean, let's be honest here. Oh, let's get into full mode. Let's be honest here. Look at this man. Who wouldn't? If you don't call him daddy, he'll make you. This guy is he's he's so sturdy. He's al he almost looks a little bit like the Juggernaut, you know? With this helmet. 
<laughs> the least you could do with your English degree. True. True it is, yeah. Toxican Chad is living up to his name. I haven't been paying attention. What is he doing? Oh my good gracious. Yep. Good old Toxic. Man, he's even got our he's even got our nation's name in there. Blandering our nation. Well, you know what? It's not much you can do when you're dealing with ten year olds, right? Not much you can do. It's these days. You know, it just means that um, going and finding Merciless's main base and completely leveling it to the ground is... It's not just warranted, it's its expected at this point, right? <laughs> he really does need a wallop with a skillet? He does, yeah. He's been nothing but toxic, yeah. Just yelling at people, stop running, where are you running, where are you going? I imagine he is not only in full kitted gear, but he also has a thrall with him and his other buddy with him. I imagine he's probably two on one people. Right? He needs to go back to 4chan. Get out of here, you. Is there a way to block someone like Toxic? Um, no, but we could, we, what we can do is we can report him for what he's doing, which is against terms of service. And then he'll get banned in like a couple weeks. We can do that. Best we can do. Oh, is that another demon one right here? Looks like it. Are you a demonic? Whatchamacallit? Yeah, you are. You got glowing blue eyes. <laughs> we three shot instead of six shot it now. Oh, we got glowing essence out of that. That's kind of cool. <gasps> Slick, please tell me you're murdering him. Come on, Slick. All of our hopes ride on you. You don't type easy in chat with literally nothing else in the conversation log unless you're murdering people. That's just how that's how chat works in PvP games. You only use it to antagonize someone that you totally destroyed. Well, fingers crossed. People like Toxic really bum you out. Trolling or otherwise, it's just to oh yeah, you get it. Yep, yeah. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> For Demon Bludgeon, you need to use a pickaxe? Yeah, that's true. I should have used the pickaxe. Uh, that was my intent. I didn't end up doing it, and I'm actually glad I didn't because we have so much Demon Blood. But I really should have used the pickaxe. That's what I was mentally supposed to do. Like, I was thinking about doing that, and I just skinned it instead. But the Glowing Essence is actually more valuable to us because we need that to make Witchfire Powder. Technically, it's more valuable, so it works out. But yeah, no, that wasn't my intent. My intent wasn't to wasn't to use the skinning knife. Oh well. We live and learn. We live and learn. Is anyone of value here? Nope. 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 All right. Good day. Oh, slick starting to really push some buttons. Uh oh, the tape. How the tables have turned. Now Toxic's the one who's constantly running away. Oh no. <laughs> that is one of the things I do like. Whenever someone gets too cocky in uh, in PvP games, right? They get they end up getting too cocky and they start gloating. And then someone comes in and just shuts them down and starts doing the same thing to them. I think I just find that so funny because they get their comeuppance. You know? You have taste of their own medicine. Always find that absolutely hysterical. Wait, did he jump offline? <laughs> oh, amazing. Yeah, his friend disappeared too, so no one's seeing me joining their side. Yeah, he got, yeah, aw, he got tilted. Exactly right. Well, it's not an uncommon thing, though. Uh, in PvP games especially, it's not uncommon for people that are extremely toxic are actually not that good at the game. Usually, at least in my experience, anecdotally, but usually in my experience at least, people that are, that are really, really toxic in games aren't that good uh, or 
rely on cheats, either or. And so it's whenever they get to, they, they can bully someone, they like really bully them. And then you have someone who's really good at the game swing around and be like, hey, you're really good and you're beating on these noobs. Let's uh, let's just see how you're, how you're, oh no, you're actually not that good, Never mind. And then they, they get tilted and leave. That's what I've, that's what I've seen. Conan more like Carmen. I'm here all week. Oh my good gracious, jeez. I'm hurting a little. You're, you're making me hurt a little over here. Just drop this off and run this while we're here. Okay. Let's go see if we can find anyone to train. We need to train some peoples. It's gonna run back to Fortnite now? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's one way to take him off the server. But then again, he's, then again, he's part of a clan, so I imagine he'll be back. He'll be back at some point. Watch Hopefully out. we'll get our opportunity, you know? Bonk. Bonk. These guys outside are never... Never high level. I just one shot him. We could probably one shot almost everyone in here now. We should. I need to remember to get the brimstone out of here when we leave. Okay, exile three. Smelter. Oh, smelter three is not bad, but we have smelter twos. They're fine. It's not going to be that much of a difference. Butchers. Down you go. Alright. Well, you. Don't you do that. It wasn't supposed to be like that. <laughs> that voice line's always so funny. <laughs> that voice line's always funny. Alright, what do we got? A cook, a carpenter, an exile. A dancer, a dancer, tier ones. Dancer, an exile, and a uh, confessor. I believe that's a uh, a Mitra priest. So there's there's no one in here we want. Right? Uh, a confessor is a is a priest, right? Right. Can, it, can anyone confirm for me before I go and murder him? In warm blood. These dagger boys. A butcher, a baker, and a candlestick maker. <laughs> I mean, we can always just take this guy for now. Oh no, my back! Oh my goodness, we hit so hard! Wow, we hit so hard. Yeah, he's a priest, yeah. <laughs> he still would be worth us having if we ever want to summon forth uh, an avatar. We're gonna need to get a Mitra uh, place set up anyway at some point here, because I, I do want to be able to make the little Mitra water and uh, light fountain statue things. We will we'll need someone. So turn this guy in, we're gonna have to go and find the fighter somewhere else. I mean, honestly, we could just go and grab Leanne, but we'd have to go and set up a crawling spot up there if we wanted to do that. I mean, we could technically drag Leanne all the way back here, but that just seemed a little ridiculous. <laughs> Better off setting up our own little uh, training station up there for Leanne. Who's my go-to fighter? Although, I think Delincia's Snow Snowhunter is better than Leanne, right? Memory serves. I think. This is the weirdest level of Death Stranding you've ever seen? Hmm. That's because we're changing things up on you. 
him going. Um, yeah, if we if we wanted a wheel of pain, it's what iron and stuff. Our friends aren't up there. My ambition is part of that uh, clan as well. We can get some iron here real quick. Get some iron going. We need like, it's like 100 iron or something. 200 and change, and let's get that cooking. Um, it actually makes only 104. But no, it's 50 iron for a lesser wheel of pain. Don't do it. Oh, you did it. We <laughs> one shot him now. Yeah, it's changing over to strength build. He did so much more damage. Holy. Wow. This is very nice. Right going. All right, we have our rations, we have our health. All right, where to next? Uh, let's go over here. Is that actually faster? Kind of equidistant. We can check the summoning place to see if there's anyone. We can check the summoning place real quick. Uh, we could always try and pick up a Cannibal Brute, but I think they've been nerfed. I think the Cannibal Brute's been nerfed after the last chapter, I think. Oh, maybe not. Real, uh, real talk. Thinking of the world of Conan... Uh, sorry, thinking of real world effects... Never understood the mostly naked Conan thing. Like, you get the mobility, but you're a tank. You can't move quickly. Any archer is going to shred you. Um, I think it's just the, the fantasy aesthetic more than anything. I mean, uh, Conan has, like, low magic. It's a low magic system. So you can, like, imbue weapons and armor and whatnot with extra defense and attack and the like. So, who knows? It might be like, this magical gear gives you extra defense. However, it gets really hot as it absorbs damage. So you want to wear as little of it as possible. Or else you'll overheat. Something. I don't know. I don't know. It is the thing that a lot of fantasy games tend to skimp on the clothes. Just the, way, the way it tends to be. Alright, who do we have here? Fighter and fighter. I mean, you get the fantasy part, but FFS, I'm a strong guy. Doesn't stop an arrow from sending your ephemeral. It's true. Well, I think one of the things... I was thinking about this earlier today. In a lot of, like... Movies and and just like like media and whatnot, like uh, combat. Whenever it comes to like combat stuff, you're taking that scroll. Thank you. Um, I think that's the last scroll we actually needed. And a lot of like uh, combat that you see in movies and in games, like you'll see people getting thrown against walls, and they'll oh, a tier four cook, nice. We'll take that one. Uh, you'll see people getting like thrown against walls, and they'll like crack the stone. Like, the stone cracks underneath them being thrown against it. Your bones would crack way before the stone cracks from impact. So, that implies to me that that media, as, like, just humans on a parallel world in an alternate universe that are just sturdier. Oh, we got a cannibal brute. Alright, we can, we can grab a cannibal brute and a, uh, and a cook from here. We can do that. So that's kind of how I think about it. Is these are these humans are just they're just born different. They're just made different. The empty abodes. These humans they're just, they're just made different. Down. Looking 
head is armor, or not armor, is, uh, is treasure, so we'll take that. Wait, like, nothing too. Yeah, they're built different, trademark, exactly right. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, you love the old Conan films, uh, the, uh, red sun stuff, but, uh, this is why you don't write fantasy novels. Yeah. Well, you know, th there's definitely a level of, like, suspending your disbelief with fantasy stuff. That's, like, required. Like, do it. Alright, lady. Oh, we were one damage off from killing her with that light attack. I will, in fact, take this gruel. I'll give it to your friend who will end up, uh, working for us. My cannibal buddy. Come here. All right, Maru. Hannibal. Welcome. Hmm. Now we'll make our own bed. I was gonna take that bed with us, but nah. All right. Let's go ahead and plug this guy into one of the wheeled panes, and we'll come back and grab the uh, the other guy. And that Cannibal Brute, I guess, is who we're going to take for now. We'll keep our eye out for another Tier 4. The Cannibal Brute, I'm pretty sure, got nerfed from the last patch. But he's still better than not having a Tier 4, so... He'll still be beneficial to us. It does mean that uh, once we've trained him, we'll be giving him this armor. So we'll have to make another set. Mm. Delicious tea. Yeah, we need to go and start building the base again. We need to stop running around. Um, I wanted to get more sorcery stuff done so we could get at least to the point of the car call of Nurgle, but we're just not there yet. Withered skulls. So we can do another run through that um, that place and probably pick up enough withered skulls. We had we need six more, and we picked up nine during the last run, so we should be able to achieve that no problem. So we'll do that on our way in. So in a weird way, Conan can own can owe his resilience to Samuel Taylor Coldridge and his popularization of the willing suspension of disbelief. The English the, the English degree strikes again. Yes, exact that's exactly right. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about it, right? If um it, the world of Conan Exiles is incredibly harsh, right? And they found that sorcery is kind of the advancement in technology more so than technology advancement, right? It's not like they went and figured out guns and did the whole, like, computers thing like we did in our our world, right? Oh, warp speed. I love warp speed. Warp speed's my favorite speed. Okay. He's trained. Would have been nice to do that to the Candle Brute, though, but... All right. Um... Good old warp speed strikes again. Love it. Uh, yeah, but what if they did, though? Well, that would be crazy if they did. But since they didn't, the th the thought would be, right, the thought experiment would be, since, since the world of Conan Exiles couldn't rely on technology to make the world safer, and they deal with scarier threats than we do in our world, right? Like, there are beasts... In um, in the Conan Exiles universe, that's just death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Exactly that, right? That was a good one, Mentax. How you doing today? Good to see you. Um, it would make sense that, like, just the humans in that world would be hardier, strictly because of the requirement to be so, right? Just to for them to evolve, they would evolve probably thicker skin, denser muscles, like heavier bones. I imagine every single human in the Conan, the Conan Exiles, or just Conan world in general, just like the, the world itself, probably weigh an extra like 20 kilos. Just the, compared to, to us. Just to compensate for the density of their bones and muscle and skin. They're just, they probably just are heavier. So Conan humans, Neanderthals with extra steps? Yes. Ne Neanderthals with extra steps. Yeah, 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 exactly right. Yeah, they're, just, they're yeah, they're just superhuman. They're just another they're, because they couldn't rely on technology to save them uh, to the same degree, and also because who knows, maybe the the influence of magic 
uh, and s stuff from the outer realm is also affecting the, the advancement of their bodies. Every single person in Conan is ripped. Right? Think about that. They're all jacked. <laughs> There's a couple effeminate men and women that we would call be like similar to like real world level, right? But the majority of people in the literature, the movies, and the games are just jacked. Men and women alike. Doesn't matter. They're just, they're all, they all have a six pack, right? But there are a couple of them that don't. There are a few that don't. But most of them do. So they're just built different, you know? The most important thing we've learned tonight is that Zelda is still willing to tolerate me and <laughs> you haven't been banned yet. <laughs> oh, come on. I, I I like these conversations. I find them entertaining. I like the thought experiments. What the? Why did I whip so hard? Oh! The big, big boy jump there. Oh, I got stuck in the... Feast upon you. Yeah. Don't do it. I got, I got stuck on his uh, bedroll there. Perfect. Got him. Ooh, is that treasure? Treasure. A kit? Huh? Uh, use? Wow. Um. Interesting. Hold on to this. That's fine. Sir? else. Something else said E to interact. Oh, Skull Taker. We'll have to take a look what that does. Right, off we go. The train this guy. It's basically the 40k death world. Um, they're just all like Rambo. Yeah, they're just they're just all completely jacked. <laughs> How's it going, Green? How are you doing today? Zelda, I think you need to build additional floor or two of wheels of pain so you have like 10 instant thralls available. That would be pretty cool, yeah. If we can warp speed all of them, that would be really cool. But how are you doing, Green? How's it going? Nearly seven foot tall monsters? It's true. These guys are really tall, uh, too. In Conan Exiles, they're actually quite tall. The guy that we just took out was probably on the like on the end of getting close to six uh, to seven feet. He's, he's taller than us, and we're playing with the largest playable character size. And he's taller than us. It's huge. I don't know always uh, rests immensely right next to Elric and Hawkmoon for you. I don't know who those are. <laughs> who are those? What is that? I unfortunately need live context. I've never heard of those names before in my life. Oh, nice. They've respawned. We can go and check the the cave again. If there's anyone there, we can grab. But also, just kind of, like, think about that. Imagine if humanity was, like, as hardy as the individuals in Conan. It'd be crazy. It'd be crazy. It's like, oh, yeah, we, we never invented forklifts because we just have two guys pick up the, you know, 2,000 pounds. It's fine. Okay, so this one we warp speeded. So we're going to try this one to see if this one will warp speed for us. <gasps> oh, I love warp speed. Warp speed's my favorite. All right, so we've gotten our two warp speeds for the day. I don't think we're going to get any others. But those two seem to consistently warp speed, which is very nice. It's very nice. offer you cool so we actually I, I was i was disappointed that we got him to maru to be warp speed but not the cannibal brute but the cannibal brute's in warp speed so we're gonna go nice let's go check this cave real quick though other uh, characters in michael uh Mor morcox books i don't know those books just pulled over not a long time ago uh, all pretty good. Ten hours away from home tomorrow. Nice. All right. So you get to sleep in your own bed tomorrow. That's great. It'll be like Mad Max Planet. Yeah, true. Mad Max is very similar to that. Although Mad Max, people aren't quite as ripped as they are in uh, Conan. 
because uh, food is more scarce in the Mad Max world. And Conan, like you can, you can get food. But living creatures are all over the place in the Conan universe. Just a lot of them are monsters, so you have to eat a lot of monster flesh. But, but there is there is food, so you you can be this ripped. Because you need a lot of you need a lot of energy to power these bodies. Who's there? Yeah, Conan is also explicitly more fantasy because there's actually magic in it. True. Yeah, it is, it is also just explicitly more magic. Just think so. Building out of the corner of my eye, I should have paid more attention. Uh, you had to take two guys unload uh, 10,000 pounds by hand. Oh my goodness. They did it in an hour and a half? Holy moly. Hey, you know, that's your workout for the day, right? Nope. Dancer 2, Dancer 2. Nope. <laughs> Delayed death. Nice. I don't want that. Let's take the Zamorian Dancer pieces. We don't need to anymore because we have the tier 4 armor so he can make them, but let's just take them just in case. What do we have? Oh, another cook. Uh, do we need another tier four cook? I mean, the answer is the answer is sure, right? The answer is why not, right? I'll be the last cook we need, though. We might as well take him. Our stamina is actually quite a problem with this build. Heavy armor is really hurting my stamina. Grab some brimstone while we're here. Actually, we'll grab more brimstone at the next place. Because we need to go get those skulls. Oh, we need to go to the dregs. I didn't even go to there. Uh, let's go to the dregs real quick. Let's go learn how to make witch fire powder. Then we'll go and pick up the skulls. We'll get back home. We'll get some more sorcery going. And we'll build out the base a little bit more and attempt another... Purge. I don't want to attempt more purge. Maybe that's why Conan World has denser people because monster flesh they eat. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm thinking. It's like, it's just the it's just an all across the board a harsher land. <laughs> the cook. What did I say? Uh, now look for a thief, his wife, and his lover. <laughs> it's a niche reference. I'm not getting the reference at all. No. Could you go ahead and clear that guy for me? Thank you. It would be nice if guards that were just chilling. Yeah, no. Didn't think it was going to happen. It'd be cool if guards that were just chilling could, um, could get experience. But they only get experience when they're following you. It's unfortunate. You need to, like, not be standing here. You're supposed to be up here. Entertaining these guys. Can I put you on the box? I can. I can have you hover. Um. Let's not do that. That's, that's just weird. Back where you belong. Perfect. Right, to the dregs. <laughs> Open up the door. Just get a face full of sand. And all right, we've got everything we needed. Let's head to the dregs. <laughs> I need some water. Jeez. Prepped and ready for an adventure. Open up the door. Maybe not today. Close this door. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we take so little damage because of our armor. And uh, we have so much health. We're fine. Always forget this place has a map room in it. I think there's this map room over here. 
Uh, let's go ahead and grab you there. NPC. Oh, this is actually fully decayed. This is in fact fully decayed. You have a oh, you have a teleport spot. To the dregs. We'll take corruption. That's fine. Sure. Uh, where's the rest of the base? Um. Uh. Where's the other side of the teleporter? Where's the rest of his base? Did it decay? Did someone break it? But because we hadn't seen that it was broken? Yeah, it's all decayed. It's all at zero timer on decay timer. I guess... It would be worse wheel. Oh my goodness. They <laughs> renamed it. Um, it was a one-way trip. And... And we got zero um, corruption. Yeah, and stamina's being used, so we're not lagged out. Wild! You get a little grit in our diet. Just a little bit of sand, don't worry about it. So it was a one-way trip that gave us zero corruption. Huh. Tier 3, tier 3, tier 3... Wow, there's just like nothing but tier threes here. This, these guys are kind of crazy cool. I would like to get a sorcerer at some point, but not right now. Yog will have your soul, bro. Withered? No. Nope, no withered skills. Wait, what? With the skulls? Four! Yes! We need two more and we're done. Black Kingdom's language. Oh, okay. I... I already know that one. Okay, about that. Nice. So we can just find two more Withered Skulls and we're done. We can do the sorcery. We'll be able to cast the big uh, raise dead spells. Be good. Holy jeez. Um, yeah, I'll take those. And I'll take those. Yeah, what was that? Oh. I think I already looted this, right? Oh, here. I, we literally used it just a moment ago. Got shrunken head. I will uh, fighter and you. carpenter. We hit very hard. We hit like an absolute truck. Nothing I want from there. Did I check this one already? Ooh, I do want that. It's a page I dropped again. Okay. Alright, let's keep on looting. Bonk. Whoa! King Rockness head trophy? Sure, we'll take that. Looking good. This is looking good. Oh, people was a lot, uh, was a lot of lift back in the day because world was not the snowflake friendly. It's true, it was, yeah. Also, the average age was like 40 years uh, before death. Yeah, no, it's true. That this is very true. Like the, the world today has allowed people to live a lot longer. Uh, because it is a, uh, a lot safer. We've got all the scroll pages that we need now. Burlap stash, which is just garbage. Make sure I throw the right one. Yeah, it's a good page. Okay, good. Which I'm actually, I'm perfectly A-OK -okay with people making it now to like a hundred and whatnot consistently. I'm a fan of that. Means more knowledge can be easily passed from generation to generation. I should have checked to see who these guys all were before I decided to just murder them all in a quick swing, but. Fighters, none of these are tier fours. So no worries. Don't have to fret. Oh? Nah. Sorcerer's skulls. 
Useless. Oh, but yours is a withered one. One more withered skull and we're done. Oh man, I'm so glad these guys dropped them. This is great. I'm a fighter. Nope. Try again, sir. Let's go. More chat so we can see clearly. Cleared that spot. Right, we've got a cannibal brute here, so we can go ahead and we can take her with us. I think we should. Wouldn't hurt to have another one. Oh, we just suddenly gained all of the corruption. <laughs> it took a minute to catch up to us. Oh, I didn't quite have, didn't quite dodge that last. Oh, jeez, now. Quite painful. I can't remember if cannibal roots keep to get to keep their ridiculous height um, after you've trained them. Oh my goodness, she hurts a lot. She stings. Rushes us like crazy. Real. A knife away. His bindings. All right. Bring her with us. You didn't interact? Oh, it's just a yog cleaver itself. We're going to have to deal with it being dark. There should be... Yeah, fighter is good. Is at least one of them a fighter? Yeah, you're a fighter. Yog will have your soul! <laughs> Oh, we just gotta kill this guy on this thing. Oh, jeez. Come on. I will feast upon you. There we go. Didn't want to hit our brute. Bring her over here. We'll drop her right there for a second. Sell the porch so we can see what we're doing. Into the dregs. Learn the things. Bridger. Wait, what? Unconscious? It'd be nice to know who this player was that was unconscious here. Hmm. There you go. Okay, go ahead and grab you. Grab the root, let's go. We are out of here. So we are one skull short. We're gonna need another skull. Uh, can I? Is there a map room? There it is. We still have a dancer in here, right? Perfect. Entertain me and remove my corruption. Thank you. Longevity researchers are determined or are, are demonstrating now that there's no biological reason why humans can't live over 200. Seriously, man, I thought like 150 was going to be our cap. To be honest, 200 sounds absolutely nuts. Okay, let's go ahead and teleport to the sinkhole. Warp. Just a little easier to get back home from here. Uh, don't mind the, uh, don't mind that. She'll come with us in a minute. There she is. Get back over there and start getting her trained. This way we'll have two cannibal brutes. So if we can train up both cannibal brutes, that could be really, really good. Have them both guarding the gate during the purge. If we can get them both to level 10 or uh, 20, that'd be good.
It's only possible if we would have uh, the whole world as one country, you think? Really? I mean, it would definitely would help if that was the case. Wow, do we need more stamina or what? Jeez, why is our stamina so low? Why do you have such low stamina? 109? That feels like we should have a lot more than that. Yeah, we should have an extra 20. We should have at least 120. Why is our stamina so low? If you're at 41, you're going to have to say no thanks to live to 200. Well, I think having the ability to live to 200 is what would be really cool. Right? Like, Because the thing is, uh, being able to live forever is one thing, but like, actually doing it is another. If humanity got to the point which we were immortal and we just didn't die from anything and we just kept like... Our consciousness kept on moving. I think that would be problematic for the species. I think I think we would have a lot of problems because of that. But making it where we have the capacity to live much much longer, I think is fine and quite beneficial. the The only real downside to it is if we can't if we can live thousands of years, that's probably too much. Keep it keep it within hundreds, preferably the lower half. We, we should be fine. Yeah, I was thinking 150. That's crazy. I mean, realistically, I think the only thing that we really, really need ne isn't necessarily being able to live longer, but to be able to live or live better. Um, I would take... I, I would rather have it be that all humans had a hard, hard life cap at 100 years old. Like, you hit 100, and the moment this clock strikes whatever that time frame would be, you're, you're done. If... That meant that you could have your sa the same peak physical physique that you had at, the, at like the top of your your life, right? The like slowly decaying and aging thing is uh, that's I think that's the real enemy. You know, I don't want to live to two hundred if I'm not going to be able to feed myself soup, right? If I can't make my own pot of tea, as an absolute tea lover. I'm gonna, we're going to have some real problems, all right? All right, so if I take my armor off, does my stamina go up? No, why is my stamina so low? I don't know why my stamina is so low. That's it's weird. All right, so we just need to get one more Withered Skull. Is there by any chance a weird skull just like lying around in one of these chests that I didn't think about? It's mostly yellow. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Uh, the whole reason we age is because our cells get bad at accepting proteins like uh, elastin. Like a lock that gets worn and can't handle the same key. If we can fix the lock, the protein receptors, the key, the key being elastin, can continue to work forever. Yeah, that'd be cool. How's it going, Stormy Snow? How are you doing today? Addiction is a strong one. Uh, the addiction is strong in this one. The Conan Exiles. The need to play. Just just, uh, just one more day. Just one more day. We're just going to stream it one more day. It's going to be fine. How are you doing, Stormy Snow? Hopefully you're doing well. You saw her from chronic, uh, chronic pain doctors don't want to diagnose or help with your pain issues, they don't want, uh, but you don't want to live with the constant pain. That's one of the other things. It's like you get to a certain age, and um, doctors are like, "Well, I mean, you're just, it just that's just how it is now." It's like, really? Can't try and fix it? Nah, nah. It's just your leg just does that now. It just, you know, when you wake up in the morning, it's just always going to be numb. It's just that's just is what it is now. When you're lying down flat, it, 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 it just is. It, you've, you've got a nerve thing, and it does the thing. It's just it's just your life. It's like, like, but I'm only 43. If I'm making it to 90, you're not even halfway there, right? So that'd be brutal. Not even getting halfway through, uh, through your age, uh, through your life expectancy. And starting to pick up chronic pain or chronic issues. Right? It'd be even worse if it's like... What do you mean? I'm only 20, and I, like, imagine, okay, it's like, I'm only 20, I've been doing football for a couple of years, did college football for a couple of years, got this injury, and now my shoulder just clicks every time I lift it above shoulder length. So if I go and, like, pick something off a shelf, it makes a click noise, and I get a shooting pain. 
Oh, that would suck. It's like, ah, eh, it's just it's, it's, it's what it is now. Like, fixing those things, I think, would be way more important than extending life. That's what we currently can do. Because, you know, what is it? Japan's life expectancy is like 79. It's really good. Like, the average life expectancy in Japan is like 79. That's really good. All right? You want to live in Conan, where you just log in once a week and refresh your decay timer while others play, while you play other games? That'd be kind of cool. Just plug into the plug into the verse, and then you just have to unplug to go do quick little bit of maintenance and come back. Log back into this life, uh, then yeah, whenever there's a content spike, yeah, yeah. So your pain issues started at age 17 after your spinal injury. Uh, uh, just, oh, it's a spinal injection, not injury, sorry. Spinal injection to have your first kid. Yeah, exactly. So, like, that that's what I'm talking about. That kind of stuff should be what we focus on more so than, you know, living to 200. Doing the research and finding out that there is the potential to get up there is one thing. But, like, focusing on, like, actual things to help. There's a player around here. We've got a bunch of dead creatures. Are they looted? They are looted. There's a player here. They're fresh. They're here within the last five minutes. Oh? We found him. We found him, we found him. Well, we'll, we'll get back to this topic in a minute. Do we take our armor off and make us look like we're a noob? Okay, it's level nine. We're fine. <laughs> I'm like, wait, is there a brand new player on? There is. Shh. Oh, uh, the weapon can't be seen. Oh, we can only see our sheathed weapon. Uh, I have it set so that we can see the sheathed weapon because I like seeing it, but they can't. Very, very quiet. We're hunting people. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if we go to uh, settings, was it gameplay? Um, show she's the weapon, show the only on me, show for all players, don't show. We have it shown only on us. This is a brand new player over here. We're gonna triple check if this is the person. That is the person. I don't know if they saw us check, but I just wanted to check that person's name. Okay, I didn't see them follow us or anything. I think we're in the clear. Okay, I think we're in the clear. Goodness. Alright, where were we? I was worried it was going to be a higher level, higher level player, but now we know someone, is, someone brand new just joined the server, which is always good to know. That's how we know that the server is not dead. As long as new people keep joining, we we'll keep on thriving. We like that. <laughs> Sweet, a phone software update that happened in the middle of the stream. Ah, oh, bummer. But hey, it's updated now. Well, go back. Uh, so what did I miss? Let's see. Okay. Genuine philosophical question. Okay, for everyone. You're in Star Trek, and you get beamed down to the planet. Is that beamed down person you? Or did you end up... Uh, end with the transport happens, and the version of you on the planet is just a copy of you? So, I've heard this one before, and I've constantly flip-flopped. I actually haven't stuck with an opinion on that. The... The scientific, logical opinion of that would be... Yes. 
it, like the pure raw science opinion of that is yes. You get atomized and you get recreated the exact same as you were before. You are the same person as you were before because the human body is Theseus's ship, right? Uh, every, what, one and a half years or something, every single atom in our entire body has been replaced or something like that. So the, the purely scientific reasoning would be, yes, you're the same person. If you have any at all doubts, then absolutely not. If you are completely confident that, that you know, the Theseus ship, like, idea of it is what it is, then, yeah, you're the same person. If you have any doubts at all, then no. I think it's strictly because of a mindset that you have, more so than anything else. The question is consciousness, not physical makeup, right? Yeah, essentially, yeah. It's like the question, if you have a player character and you replace every part, or if you have a PC, a personal computer, and you replace every part every two months, then in uh, four years, this is the same, uh, yeah, PC is the same personal computer. Exactly. So it's, the, the thing is, I would say yes, if everything stored on that hard drive is the same. You just have new parts. It would be the same thing as if uh, us, in, in like us humans, we just go ahead and, well, my arm got destroyed in a traffic accident, but luckily we can grow you a new one. So we're gonna go and surgically attach a brand new arm for you, right? So we will eventually get to that point in humanity where we can do that. I forgot to get the withered skull. We need one more withered skull. I forgot to go get that. I got distracted by the conversations we were in. That's fine. We need to come back here and drop stuff off anyway. I didn't want to go too too much with both of these in my inventory just in case something happened. Uh, if you're one cooking, like we'll leave these guys in here for now. Uh, but that cannibal group will start training very very soon here. Drop those off. Drop this off. Drop that off. This. These. the inventory but yeah so i would say i would say yes if you look at it as purely scientific if you don't then no and that's how that that breakdown works uh, what are your thoughts on that one this off in here first of pages salt we'll just leave in here for now it'll eventually get knocked down up in here. Nice with a torch. Drop up the horns for repairing armor later. Drop off some food. I don't know where we got this water skin. I don't know. Well, let's get our stamina potions before we go anywhere. Actually, run faster and run longer. Extra 31 stam. Let's go. We're out of here. I don't know how we got to 109 stamina. I still, I, our stamina still should be significantly more than it currently is because this should be giving us stamina by uh, increased by 20. So I don't know why our stamina is so low. Sure. So you replace every uh, body part? Is it still you? Which body part uh, do you have to replace to make it not you? The brain? I'd say the brain. What if it's a copy of the brain? Where the old brain starts and the new brain uh, starts? The opposite starts? Is that still you? Um, yes. Sort of. <laughs> no. That says thanks to me. I told you to have one filled in base a few streams ago. It's true, you did, yeah. Yeah, no, we need to we need to go and uh keep working. Yeah, my stamina dropped again. We had 141. Why where's our stamina going? Does anyone have any idea where our stamina's going? We keep losing stamina. I'm so confused. 
I mean, I ate the rations and they gave us a buff here, but, like, the rations shouldn't be giving me a stamina boost. So that's not what these do. These don't give stamina. Where's our stamina coming from? <laughs> ah, no worries, Icarus. You're good. You're giving us some thought-provoking things. Because the atoms make up the new body, uh, probably it's not the same atoms that made up the previous body. Oh yeah, it definitely isn't. Yeah, yeah it definitely isn't. It would be a perfect copy when it beams them in. Because, think about it, um, in Star Trek what they'll do is they will uh, beam people through uh, shields and the like, or through a hull. You wouldn't be able to... At no point in time would you be able to do that, right? Person's coming for us. Well, if they went, uh, if they went, uh, agility, they could outspeed us. Oh, he's talking to us. Hello. What's up? I, you're very low. I'm struggling to hear you. All right, well, never mind. I don't know what he said. Well, he saw us all geared up. So that's fine. Anyway. Heading on back. Back we go. Uh, to quote George Carlin again, uh, these are the things you think about when the power goes out. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, D yeah DNA isn't your soul. Uh, or, uh, yeah, the DNA would ma be the makeup of your of your true identity, you. But uh, you have to keep in mind, like, this, there's no scientific measurement of soul, so we still have to figure that one out as a species. Like, there's, there's... You literally cannot... Because the thing is, if, if we could copy someone's entire brain structure digitally into a computer, does the computer now have a soul? Right? Like, th this is something we have to figure out. Like, I, I have no idea. I'm the wrong person to ask. I haven't figured this out. I haven't uh, terrified myself at night enough to think about this. <laughs> you know, like, that's, that's a scary thought to think about. Right? Yeah, DNA is what makes everything, like, happen, but consciousness doesn't come from our DNA because uh, different... Because consciousness, I wouldn't say, comes from DNA because your ability to adapt to the environment you're in and the lessons that you learn as you go through life aren't encoded into your DNA as they occur. And so I wouldn't say that it's necessarily... D There's something else, right? It can't just be DNA. Because otherwise, you'd have all of your experience. Jeez! Let's... Oh my! Holy! The gang's all here. Right? Like, um, you're, you're not born and have the knowledge of, you know, a hundred years of life. Right? And that gets encoded somewhere, and it's not encoded in your DNA. And your consciousness, in many times, people talk about it being, like, has to do with, like, your personality and like. Which, temperament could be ingrained in DNA. You know, uh, basic default set. Like, uh, kind of like where you're set at by default. But experience is wildly important for that. Jeez, there's so many in here. Jeez. If there was no DNA, um, we all would be copies of the same. Well, I mean, the DNA is definitely important, and it because it, it you know it's the blueprint for how to make the enzymes and the like that then flow through our bodies. Right? That's that's how that works. Right, they make they make the protein. They have the the codex of how to make the proteins and whatnot to make everything work. Right, <laughs> make sure things don't fall apart. Right, but. I wouldn't say that's necessarily what consciousness comes from. I feel like it's something else. Yeah, it's an instructional guidebook. It's a recipe book. More than anything, if you sit down and think about it. Because it just tells the body how to do... Oh my goodness, the big boy's coming. It just tells the body how to make the certain things. We could probably take out the big guy now that we're strength build. Now we got big armor now? Yeah, we can actually take him out. 
But I think there's something else, and that's the thing I don't know. If so, if the soul's a real thing or not, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so we actually had all of our stamina, because we should have an extra, like, 25 stamina. I don't know where my extra 25 stamina is missing from. Or no, we should have an extra 20 stamina, because we have to 10 already. And I really should have brought a, a proper mace to fight this guy. I love Twitch philosoph uh, philosophy chat. You know, I, I just like talking about these because you know we're just doing a general combat thing. There's nothing down. We could we could do the whole blow by blow commentary, but we fought this guy before. Real quick, this guy looks a lot like a shark. You know, whenever I look at his rib cage when he's walking at us like this, I just look. It looks like a like a baleen whale or something. You know, like a great white shark. You know, with this mouth open, going like in my mouth. I'm hungry. Right? Just want to heal, buddy. Heal animation is killing me over here. There we go. Go back. Sand you. You know, it can basically be rewritten while you're alive. It, it, it for a bit, yeah, it does. It can be. A study, uh, where are we looking at? Oh, he teleported back. Well, that's obnoxious. He got stuck. Uh, a study used scents with rose. Yes! I've talked about this one. The ones with the rose smell, uh, for mice and terrifying their children for the smell of roses. Yeah, yeah, no, I know this one. Um. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I remember I remember learning about that after playing Assassin's Creed Revelations, being like, this whole Animus thing is total BS. And then I'm like, I look into it, and I'm like, oh, actually, I mean, to the degree that it is, is BS, but like the, the very basic fundamentals of it, there's actually a, oh my good gracious, hello everyone. Uh, there is actually a little bit of uh, science involved. I mean, you're not going to be able to like see the... We know that you're not going to be able to see, like, the goings-on throughout the days and the life of your ancestor. That's that's not a thing that you're going to be able to get. DNA isn't long enough for that. Right, to catalog, you know, the DNA and memories of, like, every single ancestor of yours, right? Like, that's not that's not a thing. But the fact that there is memory that's uh, passed that way, it makes sense. It's the reason why uh, the majority of humanity uh, dislikes spiders. The majority of humanity dislikes snakes. The majority of humanity dislikes the dark, right? These are all things that are essentially coded in our DNA from, uh, like, horrible experiences people have had uh, from our ancestors, right? Makes sense. Come on, I just need one skull. Give me one. Give me, there we go. Good man. I don't want to fight that guy. Some points. Oh, jeez, the cripples. The cripples. I was going to try and run past. I couldn't remember. Oh, there's a chest over here. Points. Dust. Nothing too super valuable over here, but that's okay. We're at it. We're out. Let's go home. We can go finish off this sorcery spell, and then we can go and start working on uh, building and then doing another purge attempt. Get that done. The whole idea is memory being passed through DNA is silly, uh, biologically seeking. Yeah, you're not going to have memories, but there will be, like, maybe things that just make you averse to certain stuff. But, like, a full-blown memory? Yeah, no. True, also going through life, your personality changes. Usually your personality changes through trauma. That's usually the main time in which that occurs. Because it has to be a big enough uh, event to jar whatever your current state is, right? Your current state of being has to be jarred. You can have slow slow changes, but usually personality things get set by, like, you know... Oh, what are they called? There's, there's a word, and I'm blanking on it. But it's essentially like a like a, a an event, like a, a life-changing event kind of thing is usually what it ends up being that causes that. 
You can see small parts of the DNA being changed, uh, meanwhile, uh, while being rewritten, but not enough to change your DNA to the point in which the DNA at birth is different from your DNA at death. Uh, yes, yes, that's correct. So they've done studies with twins, uh, like biological twins that were separated at birth, and you know they're like, but yeah, you know, these identical twins are like still almost identical, but their gene makeup is changed because of the uh, how the phenotypes are not phenotypes the uh, gene expression, how the gene expression is played out due to the circumstantial stressors on their life. Yeah. There are less than 50 spider species that can actually kill a human, but those were enough to cause a phobia. Yeah. You're not afraid of spiders? They're just ugly? So then, Green, would you be happy to go and pick up a spider that you know is not poisonous and let it crawl around on your hand? Maybe up your shoulder? That's that's the that's the test right there. That's the test. I'm not okay with that. I have I have a I have a gentleman's agreement with spiders. I have I have a a very cordial gentleman agreement with spiders. You do you. But if you're in my room when I'm going to bed, or if you touch me, you die. <laughs> you can you can live in my kitchen, right? You can hang out on my porch. That's fine. If you're in my bedroom when I'm going to bed, or if you touch me, you die. That is my agreement with spiders. Because they reduce the other bugs that you have, right? Having a spider in the house is not bad. Uh, it helps reduce the chance of getting, like, silverfish and other things in the house. Which is great. But, I have a strict rule. Two strict rules. If they want to be my roommate, you know? But yeah, so it, I'm not necessarily afraid of them, but I have enough of like an aversion to them that I'm just not okay with it. No, that's exactly why. After reading, I, I remember reading a paper about how like they're on average people eat X number of spiders in their sleep over time. And I'm like, all right, cool. You're in my room, you die. That's it. This is what it is. I want to reduce that number as much as possible. Yeah, that's all I'm thinking. Do enemies raid your base occasionally in this game? Yes. Yes, they do. How's it going, Roaring House? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Yes, they absolutely do. Uh, we have raided three bases in our playthrough so far. Arachnid protein? Mmm. You gotta get that chitin, right? You gotta get your calcium through that chitin. Or is it keratin? Is chitin made of keratin? Uh, I'm a. St I can't remember. This game thinks it's made of. Uh, it's made of calcium. Chitin and keratin are similar but different. Ah, okay, perfect. There you go. So then they're made of calcium. Cool, cool. You learn something new every day, right? Or right, let's just turn this into into Icor. Get some icker out of this thing. Squish it. Squish it real good. Uh, we'll save the ivory. Um, guess we'll hold on to the stringy flesh here. The feral flesh we'll hold on to for now. You can use it for something else, I guess. That is perfectly fine. Drop you off in here. That rolling. Uh, elephant hide we want to store. We need to store that. Coins. Outer might fit the... Oh, these frames. Powder chest. Put those off. Let's go ahead and open this up and we get coins. 73 and 48. Wow, that's a lot. Actually quite good. Way more than I was expecting. Go off there. Bring you up. And. Alright! New spell. Get that spell. You were about to download this game until you saw the size? 
Yeah, you're gonna need more space on your hard drive. It's a hundred and something gigs. It's like 112 gigs or something ridiculous like that. It's insane. This game's huge. This game is absolutely massive. All right, Demon Blood and Lotus. We have that already. Blood. Uh, Demon Blood, and then Ray, spelt with an E. Okay, Lotus. The spell learned. There we go. And we can now make ourselves invisible, which is something we're going to have a lot of fun with. Right, so now we need soul essence. So now we have to start harvesting bodies. So we need a torch, stone, and iron. I think it's only, I think it's 100 iron. Let's take 100 iron. Are you actually done? You are, aren't you? You're not allowed to be done. You can't just sit there idly. Uh, do we want to give you some more brick? Give you some more bricks. Give me a thousand bricks. Let's get that bricks converted over. Okay. Uh, so we have a hundred iron. We need... No, no, we need stone. We can pick up stone on the way. That's fine. We can pick up wood as well. We can pick up a torch. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Oh, we need glass orbs. We don't have any glass orbs, do we? Flask. No, no glass flasks. Don't I have a mold? No, I don't have a mold either. Oof. Okay, we're gonna have to go and make the thing. We need a casting table. I should have probably grabbed the glass. Nah, we can grab the glass. It's all in the all up above. Let me go grab that real quick. You like PvP, building bases, raiding, and slaving NPCs, making a zoo? You can catch humans in Power World? Oh my goodness. You need to wait. Are you talking about is all that stuff for Thunder Next or what are you talking about? Thunder Next, I love this game. One of the reasons why we keep coming back and playing more of it. <laughs> That's a good game. Go ahead and let's make mold. Some glass. More iron lying around? We don't. Hmm. We getting it tomorrow? Nice, nice. Wait, did we come to a consensus on the whole metaphysical consciousness thing? No, 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 we didn't. We did not come to a consensus on that. Our world sold 1 million copies in 8 hours. Oh, is that game released? I don't know much about it. Uh, it's like the new like survival Pokemon game thing. I don't know. Uh, first one's for Conan Exiles. This game's amazing. I really like Conan Exiles because there's so much to do in it. There's a lot of content in it. And they're still updating it with more content all the time, which is great. Our world's 30 bucks. Hmm. Well, go ahead and... Those of you who are interested in playing it, go ahead and play it. And if you find it's a, a game you think would be good to have me stream, go ahead and chuck it in the game suggestion section. Quick reminder, speaking about games to play, we currently have a vote that's still going on pinned at the top of the, uh, the chat here. If you're hanging out in chat and you have yet to vote, please go ahead and vote. The Up at the top there, there is a link. It'll bring you to the vote. It's a ranked choice voting, so you rank it from the most interested to least interested, top to bottom, most interested at the top, least at the bottom. Whatever gets the most votes is what we'll end up playing on Mondays and Tuesdays going forward. Because we finished playing Grounded, so we need a new game for that time slot. Please go ahead and vote if you haven't. It is an incredibly close vote right now. It is incredibly close. What is it? Raft, Fable, and Sid Meier's Pirates are all, like, Right neck and neck for first place. It's crazy. Oh no, I've, I've, I've already done the first one, Green. Green, uh, number one's already done. You just gotta go check. Hear that like a couple days ago. What are you talking about? 
I do need to go pick up more tea, though. I am getting uh, getting through some of my green tea. I'm down to just a couple more of uh, Dragon Pearl Jasmine. I'm, al I'm almost out. I need to go pick up some more. It's really good. Yeah. If you want American Pokemon, it's for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and American spelt in all caps, so I'm I'm imagining there's like bombs and guns and maybe planes. So that's what we're talking about. You like swanky tea? Oh yeah, loose leaf teas. Yeah, yeah. I've got a I have a whole two shelves worth of, of tea. One of them is bagged tea, and the other one is loose leaf tea. Huge fan. Get yourself a 12 pack of Truly Iced Tea. I don't know Truly Iced Tea. I don't know that one. I'm assuming that's a brand, yeah? Sorcery. Alright, we just need some stone. Some stone. Some fiber, actually. We're gonna need some fiber, too. 100. Our world is Pokemon guns and sweatshops. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. Um... Well, all right then. All right, so there we go. Now we're just gonna make that torch. Then we can chuck this on the beach. Overlapping terrain? What do you mean, overlapping terrain? Crafting, sorcery. Not enough contact with ground. What do you mean? Okay, we'll just we'll, we'll put more in. <laughs> game, game, stop being so finicky. Okay, now it's happy, but now I don't have enough stone. <laughs> Grab a little more stone. Wait, is it the stone I don't have enough of? No, okay, now we're good. Hang on, team. There we go. If you sold all damage. Whoa. Come on now. Come on now. You picked the wrong fight. I don't know what you're talking about, man. You picked the wrong fight. Do you have any idea what's gonna happen to you? Sir, do you have any clue? Oh. Well, he just ran to, to Hades, so I guess he's fine. He's the one in trouble, then. <laughs> Gone. Armor tier two. Time to siphon your soul. Yes. Your soul shall be used for our rituals. You've done enough physical and psychological damage, I think you're good, yeah. Alright, take care, Chris. Have a good one. Love to give the best and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Thanks, folks. Truly enjoyable. We'll see you around. Don't stay gone too long this time. And she withers. Such a good animation. Like, the animation is incredible. If it was me, though, I would have had the uh, the green effect go on a little longer than it did. Kind of a short green effect, you know? Also, we are now very much corrupted. We're, like, super corrupted now. We actually probably should take this to a different settlement. Where can we find a bunch of humans? A bunch up here. Not as many as I need. Need more. More. Hmm. Another the spot. It's 
So we can go here and grab some from the Descent of Dagon. Largest population in the nearby area is going to be... Yeah, it's going to be over here. Let's go back there again if we want to do that. Uh, well, there's an encampment somewhere up here. But where? There's some stragglers around this area. Um, let's go over here. Hmm. I don't know. Linked along Google. Uh, you sent some things in Discord? Excellent. Perfect. I'll take a look at that. I don't know if you've ever had them or know about them, but back in the late 90s, there used to be a blooming tea. Oh, yes! I had a friend who had something like, who'd had something like that. Yeah. With a pot and a cup set you'd use uh, to be able to buy them at QVC. Your mom bought it. It was so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, man. Dad, I had a friend who got one of those ones. That thing was amazing. He had this, it was this clear, like completely see through glass uh, teapot. And essentially, you'd put a uh, a bulb or a a bud in like a like a flower bud of some kind in the in the pot, and as the with the hot water in there, it would make the flower like bloom. So you'd have this flower in the in in the water making the tea. It was amazing. I've only ever seen that once, fuzzy wuzzy, and it was amazing. I think uh, what was it? It was like ten about twelve years ago. It's been about 12 years since I've seen one of those. That thing was so cool. So cool. How's it going to unsleep? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. It was like magic. It is like magic. Oh, jeez, I think it's murderous. Okay, those are no joke. A demon white tiger, or a white leopard, when I have this much corruption on me, that's no joke. Uh, we're just over here to go and borrow pirates, all right? <laughs> not, not looking for anything else, all right? We're just, I'm, I'm just here to go and borrow the, borrow the life force of nearby pirates. <laughs> this corruption's actually really bad. We see <laughs> seven stamina. Oh, the stamina is abysmal. Hopefully we can eat these hits. I'm just gonna eat them so we get our stamina back. Two of these. I need more flasks. I should have waited for more flasks before heading out. Tonight was a good night for Sumo. Oh, nice. Yeah, you've been watching a lot of Sumo of late. Something I should still poke my head and take a look at. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much, ma'am. Hello? You made a loud noise at me. By any chance, would you would like to donate your, your mind, body, and soul to the cause? Oh. Hello. Oh, hello. I don't have enough flasks for all of you, sorry. I'm gonna need some, uh, we're gonna have to get blood next. Hello, ma'am, if you'd be so kind as to wait for us. Right. Sir? Very not kind, wow. Just whacked him once. All right, sir. Got some blood. We'll have to go back and grab some stuff. You've been playing with seltzers instead of beers and whatnot. And I require your blood. Thank you. 
Oh, we're gonna go so for full on sorcerer. It's gonna be amazing. January tournament's going on right now. Uh, the day finished like five minutes ago. Not for sumo. Cool. He's uh, not top ranked wrestler. Ah, okay. I see. Can we have more than one sacrificial blood in here at a time? I feel like we can't. Otherwise, if we can, I'd like to just pool this with a bunch of blood. Yeah, we can't. We can only have one thing of blood at a time. Bummer. We're gonna run out of flasks. I think we need five for one of the one of the sorcery levels. Learn one of the spells. I just want to be able to get our our bat powers. I want to get our bat power. I want us to be able to go and use the call of Nurgle and start flying. Um, we don't have enough of the soul essence yet for us to be able to permanently corrupt us to the point that we can play with the uh, follower build that I want to do. White Claws are trash, in your opinion? You've tried lots of them? I don't think I've ever had a White Claw, to be honest. I don't think I've ever had one. The plastic aftertaste is killer for you? Oh, that doesn't sound pleasant at all. <laughs> so we got 10 still lessons, but I think we need 15. We also need, like, 5 more sacrificial blood. Or, I think we need 6 in total sacrificial blood. Let's head back to base real quick. Bad timing. Bad timing. Wait a second. I've not scouted this. Uh, what kind of symbol do I want on here? Sure. I'll go for a deer. Um, I haven't scouted this base before. It's a nice little roleplay looking base. I like it. Looks pretty good so far. I like fencing and whatnot around here. Pretty good. Taxidermied something in there. Who is this? Oh, this is Elmo! Oh, they're online, like, right now, aren't they? They're literally here right now. We're not going to go snoop on their base while they're here. We call that a bad move. Especially when we're running around with just no health and no stamina. This is quite brutal. We're going to have to go and design our follower build. Because we're definitely going to have to give ourselves more uh, endurance. Because like, the, or more... Yeah, more endurance. Because right, just the stamina that we have here is just brutal. This crit. We got to sort this out. Like, we just we can't do anything. If we corrupt it, it's going to get worse. So that's a little worrying that Elmo is actually living pretty close to us. I was hoping that we'd be a little bit further away from everyone, but... As long as they don't see where we're coming from, we should be okay. But it will truly brand, like... E lemonade punch or margarita mix packs don't have it. It's only if you get the fruit flavor ones, you get a really the fruit flavor ones have a plastic taste. Interesting. I wonder if that's like how they make it or something. And they use in it. Who's up here, by the way? Ah, looks like this place is decayed. Ezeron.
Yeah, full decay. There's no decay timer here. Kind of a bummer. I missed seeing this. It's pretty open. Any items in them? Oh, there's there are items in here. All right, well, we can we can break some of this stuff down. Oh, some gems, nice. Not all, most of this stuff's garbage, but. Hey, a tier two sorcerer! Dick! We found a tier two sorcerer in here. Shall I'll take all this too. Potions. It's raw materials. We're not taking any of those arrows. What is that? <gasps> skulls. Sorcerer skulls? <gasps> Withered skulls! Can't pick them up. Darn. I feel bad that we didn't check up here earlier. Oh, there's some crystal in here. Sure. Okay. He's built a nice little tavern space. It's just not bound to anyone. Is there anything else in his base that he had built just sitting around? There's a free horse in here. We just... We just found a free horse! Nice. Let's go do our due diligence and clean up what we can. We can't clean that stuff up. It's not decayed quite yet, but this stuff is. Oh no, that isn't. Not marked as decayed yet. This is, though. Anything else built further up on the mountain? Oh my goodness, we cannot climb at all. We're so tired all the time. Huh, would have been nice if we found this place earlier, but... We found it in the end. Cool, just <laughs> accidentally found it. Cool. We always like that. Find what we can, scavenge everything we can, we'll go from there. Homer Bound. Here's those back home. Let's sort out our uh, our sickly nature. Let's sort out our sickly nature. The soothing dances of uh, of our dancer will sort out our corruption here. Could get murdered pretty easily by a player right now. Because we can't outrun anyone. Uh, it's basically needed experimentation for each person individually, since we all have different taste preferences. It's true. Well, it's not just that um, all humans have different taste preferences. There's actually some tastes that some people can't taste. The taste blindness is a thing. Like, so different people have the ability to taste different things at different uh, intensities. And that's what, uh, that's what helps build our preference. So there might be something that one person drinks that says, this is disgusting, I hate that there's X note to, or like, it, it tastes like blank whenever I'm drinking this. Another person says, I don't know what you're talking about, it doesn't taste like that at all. Um, it's all because that one person might be taste blind to, to whatever that one thing is. Alright, dancer, please help me. Get my corruption down, my purple bar on my health bar is just brutal. Dying over here. Bam and bam. You very rarely drink alcohol. You prefer to drink soda more often than you should, but you love uh, frozen coke. Hey, you know it's one of those things is that if it's if they're both not good for you, at least you're picking the one that's not good for you and doesn't get you in trouble, right? It's not great. Not bad. Or not as bad. 
drop the rest of these. I don't need three of these. Illusionist armor. Hold on to that for now. Um, let's see, I have a bunch of garbage in here. You prefer Pepsi over Coke? And yeah, that's Pepsi's not as common over here. Pull this out. Oh, I'm gonna turn it back. I don't know why there's a handful of insects in there. There shouldn't be. You two can stack up. Right. Stack you guys up. It's full. We're just going to put our rotten food in the, uh, the drink chest because we don't have any other space. Just where it's gonna go. We'll use the rock food eventually. Alright, we can get rid of the spear, we can get rid of this bow, get rid of the repair hammer, get rid of the falcha, we can get rid of... Yeah. Oh, we found an arcane staff, nice. Uh, repair hammer, we already have one, we can get rid of... Oh, chain bindings? Nice. Get rid of the fiber boys. Targe. Bedrolls, standing stick, ceramic mug, notes, because we get fiber out of that. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with you, right? Yeah. Let's drop you. you off. Which note? Nope. Let's make a report. Nope, can't break that down either. That's the journal, that's his journal, and instructions. Put those off. Banners. X. Okay. Oh. Arrows. Titan. Branches. Come on. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Alright. Breaking everything down. Oh, we got extra wood. Go. Some ivory. We've got more fiber. Good. Let's drop off you. We can go break down this. I mean, we get a whole bunch of garbage whenever we go and scavenge from a base, but it's worth it in the end finding what we get. You know, we got all these all these gems down here. These rare gems. Useful. Is there space for that? Okay, good. So make sure I'm not stacking up salt for no good reason. Put you in here, drop that off. Here. Stakes just in case. Weapon crystal. Oh, yeah, we also have this too. You. Uh, this horse decays in 23 hours. We'll just go ahead and we'll stuff this horse in this fridge. In the freezer. Just chuck him in the freezer. He'll be fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Essence, seeds. Let's start taking some stuff out. Inventory's full. Again. As always. Oh, let's see here. Yep, we can take that out. Stack that with the rest. We can take that out. We can take this out. No hide, bear hide. We'll take the horns. I don't know if we need the human flesh. We'll take that out soon. Chemical base. That should be enough that we're taking out. Oh, that chemical base won't fit. That's right. We're out of space. This box. We'll leave that in there. Here. No? Take the pot. There we go. Perfect. Ah, official. Welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. How have you been? 
Hopefully you're doing well. How was your stream? Conquering the games that are placed before you. Annihilating them with impunity. Malice of forethoughts in many cases. Yes. Crystal in here. Drop off our orbs. We have another staff, right? Staff. Have our own our own arcane staff, so we would break this one down. We don't need two. We don't need the one that we picked up. Get rid of that. Alright, perfect. And then we can go ahead and put the sorcerer. Right here. So finding the sorcerer was a huge boon, because now we can have this sorcerer spend time turning these ten failed ones into one successful one. Perfect. Starkfield tonight, so nothing too groundbreaking? Hey, that may be the case, but I hope you're having fun. Hope you're having fun. All right, what do we need? We need... We have everything we need. I need... Blood? I need blood of a demon. With this blood of a demon. Crafting cube full. All right, stop, stop crafting that. With this blood of the demon, I shall learn... Oh, to bring forth armor. Oh no, this might actually be the Call Nurgle here, actually. No, it's a Reaper. Boo. It's a good one to have. Yeah, it's, it's that five blasts I was talking about. We need to go get more. We'll go ahead and have you start doing some crafting on this. This is fine, that's fine, that's fine. We got those we need. Let's go get those orbs. And then let's get back to work. Harvesting. What? I did tell it to stop, didn't I? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I told... Oh, it's because it's it has this bug. Okay, so sometimes you'll run into the situation where using a casting table, it won't actually keep queuing up again and again when you tell it to make a whole bunch of flasks. The reason why is the table sees the glass flask mold being consumed in the creation of this one and doesn't put it back in inventory before it consumes, before it tries to consume it for the next run. So, to fix this, you have two molds in inventory, and that solves that problem. Because then it'll, there'll always be one in inventory for it to consume as it finishes these. Obnoxious. Works. Been missing your Conan streams? Well, welcome. I appreciate hearing that. We've been doing a little bit of raiding here and there. We've been doing we're doing a little sorcery right now, but we're gonna be playing with the purge. We're gonna be playing with the purge. We managed to get the purge to work on our base. On our big old base yesterday. So we know that we can get it to spawn here, which is good. But we're gonna need to go and uh, start filling out the base a little more. Currently all we have is the perimeter wall. It goes all the way around and then into the... So we've got this whole section here to ourselves. We've got a little treasury nest over there. We've got a tavern that we started building over here. We need to actually furnish it. We've got this tavern we've built along the rampart. Right? We've got it uh, where you can go to downstairs as well. But what we need to do... We've got our little seating, a cute little corner space here. But what we need to do is we need to go and take our production facility and take it from outside and bring it inside. Start building a tower, start building the castle, and then start building the wizard... the wizard dungeon tower. We've got we got a lot of work to do with building. Oh, how's it going, Danger Joy? How you doing today? That ledge is not OSHA compliant? Shh, it's fine. It's fine. What the, OSHA has to come out here to inspect it. They can't come out here and to inspect it. It's fine. We already cut itself down to like half of them. What's going on with that? We have zero blacksmiths, right? No, we do have a blacksmith. Let me grab one. I think that speeds up the rate at which we get this done. Yes, sir. A bunch of steel reinforcements completed. Good job. We'll definitely clean up the front once we get the... Once we get this moved. No, it doesn't speed it up at all. You do nothing. Why are you even here? Bit of a 
summer. So I still don't know why our stamina isn't working properly. We should have an extra like 20 stamina or extra 10 stamina on us. Yeah, so now we have 141. Weird. Because so we have 21 and 10, which gives us 31, which means we have 110 default. But we shouldn't have 110 default. Because with the we should have an extra 20. I have no idea why. Daughter, and you have not built extra rooms for wheels? No, we've not yet. Well, I mean, over here is not a good place because the closest and uh, the closest people we can grab are here. And they're all low level, and then we've got a spot up here. And they're not really high level either. Our best bet's going back over to Singer's Refuge and continue to just brawl people from here. Ocean no longer exists. They are eaten by alligators. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, ocean, uh, yes, Ocean Representative, would you be so kind as to follow me over here to our alligator breeding pen? I want to make sure everything is perfectly compliant. Watch your toes. <laughs> Map. Right? Oh, that doesn't look like that's going to be buffed out. We might need to bring it to the hospital. Too bad we're all the way out in the Amazon. Hanging out here in the jungle. No, oh, good heavens. Used to pick up Amazon trailers from there every night. Oh, wow. Crazy. Alright, so we've got plenty of flasks. It's, for some reason, decided to stop again. It's at least making more per run, but it is stopping again, weirdly enough. Let's go ahead and get more blood, more essence. We need a lot of it. So we have, two, what, one... For two extra blood. We want to get like 10 more. If we can get 10 more things of uh, sacrificial blood. And another 10. Maybe 25 essence. Luckily essence we get in batches of 5. So that's always nice. But we're going to need that if we're going to go and respect ourselves into a sorcerer. Or sacrifice their soul for essence. I mean we could use a little more essence. I wouldn't say no. We are running a little thin on essence right now. Right, I do want to go and check out Elmo's base. But they are still online. So, wow, there's like no one online. Granted, it is 1.30 a.m., but it's a Friday night. Weird. There were like 20 people on when we first logged on today. Uh, and remember, Conan Exile servers max out at 40. It was a it was a fifty percent full server when we got on at the beginning of the stream today. Four and a half hours later, there's only four of us left. Only one person, actually zero people in a clan. He's in a clan, but it's his own clan. We're all solos. Kind of nice actually seeing so many solos on the server. Yes, yeah, so that's a base we rated up there. Did that one yesterday. Okay. Finish getting our sorcery stuff here, and then we'll go back to building. Need to try and set up the base a little more. Why does that look like he's going to put a wheel of pain there? It's a very cute place that he's set up here, but he's level 60. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand why he's playing with tier 1 building materials. Doesn't even have a wheel of pain up. And uh, try and go incognito here if we can. Swing on by, we won't be wearing any armor. Is that him there? Is he AFK? 
It looks like him there. That's him. It looks like he's AFK. He's not moving or anything. All right. We'll just um, be on our way. Don't mind me. My gear back on. Oh, active. Starting to move again. Uh-oh. I wonder if they saw me. Um, hopefully not. I mean, the goal was to try and circle around so it didn't look like we came from our base. Yeah. So they're speaking the wheels. We made any additional ones? Not yet. We'll need to do that when we get back to our thralling location. We probably should set up one by the summoning place. That would probably be the ideal thing to do. One set up over there. Now we got the stamina to actually do this. Now I got the stamina. Look at that. What the? You rolled me and I fell over at a distance? What is this? Oh, what the? No, oh, weapon, please. Oh, he reset. <laughs> Darn water. This peg-legged and, um, and hooked-handed man. Over here. Right, we need more blood. Tiger is dangerous over there. Check chat, see if he's chatting. Uh, nope, he hasn't said anything in chat. He's the quiet one. Although I think Elmo was the one that was helping Slick fight Toxic. So we're not gonna we're not gonna raid him or anything. He seems like a good guy. And corruption. Corruption gained. You on there? Hello, sir. Would you be so kind as to donate your mind, body, and soul for sorcery? You would? How generous of you, sir. Greatly appreciated. Right, next. Whoa, jeez. Buddy, <laughs> he's, he's phasing through this existence. The Kamikaze Hamster, how are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. It's gonna be fine. Shh. Everything's gonna be okay. I mean, for me at least. I don't know about you. It might not be okay for you, but it's fine for me. There's no need for you to scream. I'll be okay. I appreciate your concern, random stranger strapped to my sacrificial table. <laughs> Go ahead and put that together. Wait until the queue is empty. Here we go. On to the next. They're so impatient on their turn to the slab. I know, right? Ugh. Take a number. Wait a moment, we'll get to you. We'll get to you, don't worry. Could have brought my uh, arcane staff. That's okay. We'll get that sorted after we get home. We'll get it sorted. But Vorn, how are you doing today? Good to see you again. Taking that. Go ahead and activate this. We're at what? Two? We've got two back home. If we can get three more of these bloods and then two more. 
man. Man, you know what? We should be calling, um... Oh, hello. Oh, an alchemist, too. Too bad I actually have an alchemist three on hand now. I was gonna say, it's it's, it's really nice getting this, uh... Um, Sor Sorcery Prime, you know, just getting gets your uh, soul stuff delivered within one day. Very nice. Very convenient. When you have a busy schedule of conquering and dominating the land, it's very much appreciated to have such diligent workers bringing us what we need every day. Another alchemist would have been beneficial, but... Like, only moderately so, because we currently have a cook on the Fireball Cauldron. We don't really need an alchemist on the Fireball Cauldron. There's a player over there. Wait, did you see a player? That's an NPC right there. Wait, did you see a player somewhere? Make me nervous. Craft. Yes, we need all tier 4 minions we can get. Yes. These tier 2s and tier 3s just can't cut it. Won't do. Oh, but how's Conan Exiles? Conan Exiles is going well. We're getting ourselves really far along in the sorcery track right now, which is going to be very beneficial for us to do raiding going forward. And we've picked up enough materials now for us to do some upgrades. NPCs don't walk backwards? Oh, they do now. Yeah. Are you saying that person right there is, an, is not an NPC? Is that the most recent patch? Uh, or not patch, uh, update? Age of War? What do they do? Is you? Oh, Alright, peg leg lady. Sit on you. Huh? Wait, I'm confused. NPCs of all sorts of shenanigans with the patch? Yeah. Things are all weird now. Oh, uh, yes. The, the NPCs will walk backwards. Awkwardly, though. <laughs> it's, uh, you just watch their feet. That's how you can kind of tell. Because whenever a player backs up, you'll see that the, um... There, there's a much more, like, jil jolted start of moving backwards. Even if they try and go slowly. Oh. It's, it's really tough for players to do that. So watching their legs is how you can tell if it's an NPC backing up or if it's a player backing up. give themselves away. Yeah, she was walking backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was walking backwards, and now she's strapped to our sacrificial slab. <laughs> Congratulations, you've been promoted from guard to sacrifice. Ah, oh, look at this health package. We do surgery for free. Ah, oh, what a lucky ducky. <laughs> oh, lucky you. Alright, so this is number six. So we're done with these. That's good. So now we're on to the essences. So we need two, preferably three more sacrifices, and then we're done here. X Swab's retreat. Hey, don't you shoot me. Hey. You, um, uh, he didn't hold up long at all. <laughs> he, he dropped real quick. You get to be labeled on a glass flask. Congratulations. <laughs> That's, no, congratulations. You get to have your name plastered across this glass flask. Oh, uh, lucky you. Lucky you indeed.
vocal cord surgery for free. Can't really beat that kind of sale. I know, right? They're so excited they scream for a little bit. They scream for joy. All right, a little heavy corruption. We always want to do this last because the corruption is always full whenever you uh, siphon soul. You always siphon uh, to full corruption, which is 50% of your health and stamina bar. We always do that last. What a voice. I like that. Not like the abrasive and aggressive one I'm used to hearing. It was, it was quite quite a pleasant voice line. I don't think I've heard it before either. I would like that voice. There's food in here. We'll, we'll go and loot you. Loot you dry. If you would be so kind as to follow me over here to my practice, I would greatly appreciate it. But please, one at a time, one at a time now. Ah, I love it when people follow instructions. She'll come to a, a later session. He was eager to join, so let's get him on the table and begin his operation. And by that I mean we're just going to suck his life force straight out of his body. And come right out of his face. How do you get rid of your corruption? Dancing. You gotta dance, dance, dance all those bad corruption things out of you. It's kind of like sweating out the demons, you know? And just gotta, just gotta sweat out those demons, you know? Same thing. You just gotta dance like crazy. And by that, I mean you have to watch someone else dance like crazy. Because, I mean, we're... Listen, we're in charge of the world, you know? Dance like a busted Muppet? Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, this is, this is, it's the reason why I always go for a, a tier one dancer as quick as I possibly can whenever, whenever we do a new playthrough. It's because running, there are a couple of places across the map that have corruption, so you'll slowly start building up corruption over time. And having to run all the way to Sepamaru to Conan's Tavern to go and remove that corruption with the dancers over there is just such a tedious uh, thing to do that I much prefer just having a tier 1 dancer that gets trained in 15 minutes as of the Age of War, and then you can just have her sitting in the base sorting out your corruption every time. Gotta, <laughs> gotta eat a heart first before dancing, unless it's changed. Uh, no, but you can still eat uh, the heart of a champion to remove all of your corruption. You can still do that. That is still an option, but it's no longer required. You just need to be in the presence of a dancer. There's a surprising number of tier threes here. Pokey, pokey, mate. Me and me mates are thick as thieves. Wow, he. Those two voice lines right next to each other, like the speed at which he said those, was actually really good. Me and me mates are thick as thieves. You may, you may say that, but you didn't realize that your mates were missing that, did ya? Did ya? Layered? What? Layered fur in a chest? Oh yes, we'll just leave this top tier armor crafting material here for you to pick up with ease. I'm sorry, that feels a, that feels a little bit much. Are you sure? Just in a chest lying around? Holy moly. Man, the looting system is just so much better than it used to be. One heck of an upgrade. In your line of work, uh, them are necessary. Ah, yes. It's a, it's to boost morale, what you need the dancers for. Yeah, that's crazy. Some layered fur just lying around. We need that to be able to make uh, the... Le the, uh, e not legendary, the epic Kombujan armor. We need that. So it, it, not, it's not something to scoff at. It's actually a, a really reasonable thing to, of it. Cause it takes alchem, well, I guess since alchemical base is pretty easy to get these days now, it isn't as crazy. I mean, again, that base that we broke into had, what was it? 500 hardened leather. Oh, 
and something like 400 or something layered silk like an absolute maniac way too much of them I'm being honest all right let's get out of here I just want to poke him once. Oh, we can take him. I forgot he got nerfed. A little more demon blood. Not like we need it, but we can pick it up. Check this out. See if he's moved. We can go and investigate the base. We're fully corrupted. We really can't fight. Have you gone on a little adventure? Hmm? Yeah, looting has been a little too generous. Makes the raid they introduced not really worth the... Yeah, no, I agree. It's, it's it's just too... It's too good to get your stuff this way. You were here a minute ago. Could be in the other base. You still haven't left here. We'll still just quietly pass on by. Stealthily swimming on by. Looks like we're in the clear. Don't see him. Birds on the horizon. Okay. We gotta sort out our corrupted body. We are very, very much withered. We also need to figure out uh, what we want to do for our new combat build. We can go and swap out to the new combat build right now. I still want to have us being able to carry everything. So it's not going to be a fully optimized build. But I'd like to go and get some stuff in. I'd like to max out the authority trait. So our followers are much stronger. And have it so we can have two of them follow us at once. We can go pick up that other Kennel Brute, and we can train both the Kennel Brutes at the same time. Help out with the efficiency on that. So give us the ability to heal them by doing damage to things and the like. That'd be good. Could the Corruption be what is nerfing your stamina? No, something else is doing it. Uh, all the Corruption does is it halves your stamina. So that means that we should have 140 or 139 on hand right now. Something else is doing it. I don't know what it is. We'll find out. It doesn't matter. We'll find out when we um, when we respec. It might just be that when we respec, it didn't lock it as giving us that plus 20 perk. We're just not getting the plus 20 perk that we're supposed to have. No. Is that I was maxed on carrying after that was looking into the... Yeah, <laughs> You're maxed on carrying after that, looking at the rest of the stats. Yeah, that's exactly right. We we max out carrying first, and then we figure out a build. Absolutely every single time. Come on, come on Green, you know me. <laughs> we goblin at his best? Of course. You've seen, like, imagine. Imagine, Green, just imagine the tragedy. The absolute heartbreaking, tear-weeping tear tragedy. That would be us finding a base that had been raided and left with a whole bunch of loot inside, and all we can take is, like, some? Oh my goodness, our hearts would break. I don't know if we'd ever recover. <laughs> It'd be so brutal. Let's pull this guy back inside. Come here, you. That's your build? Okay. Yeah, I'm just like, we, got, we, gotta get the, we, we gotta stay on top of it. We gotta, we'll let our corruption start to subside here with the power dance. Uh, you can see our corruption is decreasing. Our maximum health and maximum stamina are going up. 
combat sounds is because there's combat. These off. Oop. Turn that off. Drop off this stone. Drop off this iron. Wood. Got more meats. To decay. Blood. Let's hide. Do I have hide sitting in here? Basic hide? Now let's get some basic hide in here. Okay. Uh, layered stuff should probably go in there. Yeah, we'll hold them to the shellfish and like, I don't know if there's anything we can cook with those, like, properly cook. Stacks them in here for now, though. Take these. This. That. Go ahead and do another spell to learn. Come on. Please. I just need the Call of Nurgle. There we go. Call of Nurgle and the Call learned. Excellent. Okay, now we can back off on doing this. Yeah, okay, anyway, we have to because we need the dragon horn. Perfect. Second horn and third of the perfect, perfect. Uh, plenty of essence. Put the sacrificial blood in here for now. Pull up some more can solve it here. Layer fur, stash in here. Normal torch. Don't need it right now. Down. Blacksmith guy. Out here. Alright, inventory sorted. Okay, so now, sort out our stats. Wait. Yeah, we already broke that torch down, didn't we? I need that torch back. Give me that torch. Alright. Put him in. Darn. Okay. Fiber and wood. Now we're going to need to go and do another siphon soul at some point here. But first, we need to go and reset. Our skills. Or our attributes. Alright, attribute reset. Over encumbered. Perfect. How's it going, Twitchy? How are you doing today? Good to see you. All right, so in authority, we have irritations. They go to enemies, attempting to force them to attack the follower. Commanding presence. Your active followers are inspired by your battle prowess and have their health restored when you deal damage to them in combat. Uh, they receive 50% increased healing. And we're part of an additional person. So we're going to go ahead and grab this. We definitely want to go with commanding presence so they heal in combat as we do damage. We want War Party. We can have two of them with us. Uh, I think we might only go up to like... I don't think we're... 15 at most. I don't think we're going all the way up in health here. Uh, I want Expertise. So we're going to max out Expertise. Eventually we'll bring Expertise down to probably just 10. We have 20 left, so we could do 10 and 10, and then do nothing in strength. Right? Like, what's our what's our damage with this thing? We're knocking our damage down, but we're going to be relying on our followers. Yeah, 60 damage instead of 96. I think it was. It just dismantled the decayed base with. Uh, oh my goodness, that. <laughs> It filled four vaults. Oh my goodness. With everything you can think of. I love that. That's I love the dismantling bench. We really should have the upgraded dismantling bench that I think about instead of this basic one. We get more stuff back. Not a lot more, but more.
we need at least five points in vitality. So we get the fierce vitality. Our stamina is 103. Somehow. Um, let's see if I can fix this. Yeah, why is my stamina so low? Let me have another potion. We had like some other elixirs, didn't we? That. I'm Lujin. Nice. We had some elixirs somewhere. Ah, here it is. Follower damage. So if we use this... Yeah, our stamina is... 74. Is that normal? Is default stamina 74? That doesn't feel right. Default stamina should be 100, right? I keep feeling like it's my armor, but I don't think it is. Yeah, yeah, we can get more grit, but I, I, I don't want to get more grit until I know why we are starting at 26 less stamina than we should have. It, it, like, starting at 26 less stamina than we already have, it's a problem in and of itself. We need to sort out why we have that. Do you think maybe we just have to like relog? Oh, where's online? I don't know why our stamina is missing so much. It, it's been a problem almost the entire stream. Here, let me let's let's relog real quick. Let's relog real quick. See if that fixes it. I think it's a bug. You've noticed it with uh, hit points too. Hmm. It concerns me, because it means that then the grit that we get from putting five points in grit, which is, what, it's three stamina per level, five in total, 15, 15 in 20, 35 stamina, means we're really only going to be playing with nine of that 35, which is uh, very sad. It's a very, very sad amount. So I would very much like to have that sorted before we go and finish our build. But health too, that one's a little terrifying, because that's that stopped you from dying. Yeah, we still have this health thing. Oh yeah, also when we log in, that's right, we get the stuck on the floor. Alright, okay, hold on. Let's pull our bracelet real quick. Dead roll. Hydrate, you got it. I'm gonna need more tea soon. Actually, I'm almost out. I put it in. Yeah, now we have 100 stamina. All right, we just needed to um, reset ourselves, I guess. I uh, didn't have to relog, but we had to had to die. Annoying and awkward. Bones and the flash. And oh, and hide. I no. We brought too much hide. <laughs> okay. I will take the leather out. This is gonna be busy for a long I mean, we've got days worth of bark in here days worth of work. This thing's almost full, at which point then we're probably going to have to chuck it. More tar? Actually, we're out of brimstone, yes. We need to go do a brimstone run for sure. Which I could have done, but I keep forgetting to do. And more blood doesn't hurt, so we'll go ahead and squeeze you out. Blood? Okay. For some reason, I thought it was my armor the whole time. 
I thought it was like, hey, we're in heavy armor. It's a de debuff to your stamina. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Plus five from eating food and having to save it back. As it should. Perfect. Okay, good, good. Now we can decide what we want to do. So we definitely need the five in here by default because that extra 15 is just, or that extra 35 is just ridiculous. You get 15 plus 20. There's no reason why you should ever not have five in there. What axe is that? This is the ancient Lemurian axe, which uh, you learn the pattern by going to the Dagon dungeon, which there's a little canoe right here. You interact with the little canoe that's right here. It'll bring you over to the dungeon, uh, and then the you'll go up to like a shrine on land, and you'll see this axe in a table, and you interact with this axe, and you learn the pattern. You have to ha be able to make star metal tools before you can learn the pattern now. That's really good. All right, we have 10 more points. I don't know exactly where we want to stick them. Yeah, 100, 140 stamina is, that's doable. We can, we can live with 140. We could put 10 in strength, or we can get some more vitality. 300 health is not that much. 10 more points in here would get us all the way up to robust. It's 10 health per point. So that would give us 200 health. So we'd be at 500 health if we did that. And if we did sorcery, that means that our maximum health, if our full corruption would be 250, which is probably worth it. That's probably what, what we should do. Let me take a look here real quick. Let me look at the corrupted attributes here real quick. I'm trying to decide, because if we're gonna corrupt, we're not corrupting strength, so it'd be vitality and authority that we could corrupt. So the first one is if we change the authority one, when you deal damage in combat, your followers enter a frenzied state. Frenzied followers deal 3% increased damage for each corrupted authority attribute. Okay. Uh, flesh bond. Okay, so we want at least two points in here for flesh bond. Damage taken by you is split between you and your followers. The next one is damage dealt by your followers heals you. We want to keep War Party, so we need to get 15 points in here. And then for Vitality, is there anything we want to change out in here? I know that Gruesome Extrusence, extrusence is really good because it actually heals more than the passive regen from here. Uh, twisted Flesh, you have a chance to deflect weapon damage, don't care. Immunity to bleed, poison, disease, and sunder effects, good, but not that important. And when you take damage, you expel corruption. No, okay. We The only thing that would be beneficial would be putting five points in here, but we're going to be corrupt enough as is. I think we just only corrupt this to 15 points. That's all we'll do. Um, if you did corrupted strength for some reason, deal additional damage that scales with your corrupted strength, that's not useful at all. All right, cool. So in that case, we're going to stick with authority, and we're only going to corrupt authority. That's good. You're currently only on Sipta. Abandon all your exiled characters because uh, they are on PvP. Five years of that was enough. Totally understand that. Uh, so we're going to do 15 points in here. We'll do that for sure. Um... I guess we don't want to corrupt until we've leveled them up a little bit because it's they heal us from damage they do as opposed to we heal them from damage we do. Maybe we don't corrupt quite yet. We have 10 points. And I'm tempted to put them in vitality, but I'm also tempted to put them in strength. There's a small carrying capacity, which doesn't really matter, but it's the increase to uh, weapon damage. We got 25 points we can corrupt. Hmm. If we're going to corrupt authority and not take the last uh, clip, it's good to go 19. Really? Because the other perks are per point, and you can only be half corrupted. So after you're getting the bonus, there's no additional corruption. True. How many corrupted points do you need to be at 50% uh, corruption? Or, like, full corruption bar? I was assuming it's not full at that point. And if it wasn't, I wasn't going to keep going, but... 
If it is, then... I don't actually know. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll... Tr uh, I guess we'll take these with us. We need to go and get ourselves corrupted again. Um, so what we need to do is bring some iron. Go ahead and make this again. Which is 100 iron. Okay, so I didn't know that before. We'll take 100 iron and we need some more flasks. That flask with us. Uh, for corrupting, we'll do that. I want to go and grab our... We don't have to go over here. We don't have to go over here to gain corruption. We can get corruption wherever we want. What we can do is we can bring our team with us. Let's go ahead and let's get some armor set up first. Let's go and make some new armor. Let's get some more leather. Heavy. Seven. Three more. Drop off some more. Heavy. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two more sets of this armor that we're wearing right now. We're going to get two more sets of this armor. We'll get that set. Uh, we need to make a tinker bench. Smithing, tinkering bench, probably some wood. I'm going to stop changing all that wood into shape wood. Okay. And then thick padding is twine and thick leather. So we'll grab that. Got thick leather, bam, and twine, bam. Set this up. Go. And the rolling. Let's keep fighting outside. Stop it. We do so little damage in comparison to what I'm used to doing now. Well, we do 50% less damage. I think we can't hit the cat. I'm going to repair this weapon while we're here. We have to figure out what weapon we want to have our team use as well. Our middle. Star middle. Start off from here. Go repair. Uh, what weapons do we want them to use? I mean, we have the legendary weapons that look really cool, but I don't know if I want to be running around with those necessarily. We can go with a maul or a great sword. So much undermeshing since this patch? That's no good. Undermeshing of AI instead of aces? What's well, better, at least? Or the agility of strength? Good question. It should be strength. Where are you? Uh, yeah, he's strength. Barely. <laughs> The Cannibal Brutes, they're going to have Grit, which is not that helpful. I mean, it gives them some armor, but not that beneficial. It looks like Vitality and Strength. What we're playing with. Actually, we need some Gruel. Which, I don't know if I have Seeds. That Gruel churning. 
I'm gonna set of non-upgraded and non-made by this super amazing uh, armor. Uh, we need more hardened steel. We're in combat with the. I think it, I think it's with the panther that's stuck underneath, or the uh, maybe a rhino somewhere. Uh, with that neutral of numbers, you can decide uh, which way you want the stats to go and influence them with the food to give them. Yeah. Two pairs of shoes. Two pairs of gloves. Two pairs of helms. Two pairs of paints. Two pairs of chest piece. Yeah, all this combat's just because of this guy that we can't hit. This combat music. Done yet. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll have a couple of cannibal brutes with us. Try and train both of them. Ideally, we have the cannibal brutes end up being our first line of defense. One here, one here. Set up on the uh, gate. My goodness, a mighty sneeze. I barely managed to mute in time. Holy. <laughs> goodness. Yeah, okay, we're going to be uh, marching out in uniform. It's going to be looking awesome. All of us are going to be in Hyperborean armor. Looking like we mean business. going be good. Look at that look on our face. So good. Alright, so we're just waiting for him to finish up. A little bit. In the meantime, we can drop you and you and you. And let's just have you focus on making more wood right now. We're not going to keep breaking it down. It's here. Oh, I still need 25. About the bark because you definitely still need another hour on you. Is good. And then food wise, we get a bunch of cool bonus on the strength. You use maces and axes for your strength thralls because two handed weapons just seem to be so slow. Um, are you short swords for your. and you use short swords for your agility thralls? That makes sense. We can definitely get the uh, Lemurian axe and uh, a mace. Just an axe and a mace. Lumarine axe is better though. 44, 48. Actually, we've got a, a blacksmith. We could actually make a better Lumarine axe if we wanted to. The one we're currently using. So let's make a new Lumarine axe for ourselves. And we'll make a advantage chieftain hammer for the other one. We'll go left. We'll just go um, one handed for our weapons. We might give him shields. Yeah, this comment music is just going to keep going on and on. There's <laughs> nothing we can do about it. Not much that can be done. Let's start picking this up. Your favorite was daggers? Yeah, they kind of changed how daggers work, though. Beggars aren't quite as broken as they used to be. Now that you can't uh, redirect your attacks the same way you used to, they're just, they're just not quite as good as they were. They're still good. Not as good. You have a three skull boss by your base that if you give your thrall a two-handed weapon, the boss stuns them so hard that they never get a shot off. Oh my goodness, that's awful. It sounds so. That sounds awful. Goodness. Take these two. And we'll take another thing of hardened. 20. Yeah, let's go ahead and 
I'll drop you off in here, and we're gonna make a. Do we want both of these to be weapon spikes, or do you just want damage output? Yeah, it does 50 on its own now. Crazy, the plus two is so good. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll get another penetrative. And we'll just get a... Advanced weapon damage. Mace. Give an extra 6 damage. And then 50, we'll give an extra 20%, which is 10. So that'll be 10 more damage instead of 6. Uh, if there's armor, of course, that's trying to penetrate through. If there's no armor, there's no extra bonus damage. Or rather, it makes sure that 10 of the 50 still goes through. Yeah, we will, uh, I'll be using the better one, thank you very much. Thank you. Taking that. And then these are really good, because it's, uh, 109... 121. 12 extra armor. On everything means this extra 60 armor across the armor set. Which isn't, like, you know, groundbreaking, but still good. This should be on par with the ones that we're wearing. Yeah, they're literally on par. Perfect. Just making sure. Alright, last two pieces of armor here, and then we can go ahead and head out. Perfect. We can go ahead and get that done. Ah, hello and welcome, Raiders. Hello and welcome. How are you all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Orgus, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. Good to have you and... Your fellow viewers here. Are you playing Conan Exiles today, or were you playing something else? What was the adventure you were on? Alright, last bit of armor, we can go. Because then we can go pick up our other our fighter. Come on. More peace. We need to get the full, uh, the full um, Zamorian dancer outfit set up. Perfect, done. All right, buddy, you're gonna have the mace. You already had a mace. Give me all that. All right, you were good to go. Follow me, buddy. Go ahead and stuff you full of gruel. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself. Oh, extra axe. Let's drop these weak ones. The weak ones are just so not useful. Wait, did someone say you could dismantle these? Or you could like in a patch once a once upon a time? Okay. I didn't think you could. But apparently could for uh, for a brief moment there. Those whoop, don't drop that. Okay. Perfect. Done. Done. Warns. Uh started to read you with only but no, don't you apologize. Don't you dare. I appreciate you and your two fall uh two fellow Raiders. I appreciate you all being here. Uh, please explain why two followers is better than full strength. Uh, what do you mean? I'm confused. You've confused me. Uh, don't, don't you dare apologize for that. Welcome, I appreciate you bringing people on over. I will feast upon you. Level up, good sir. Uh, I just haven't decided where I want to put my final points. That's all. I just have 10 points. They're probably going to be going strength, but I haven't decided. The main thing right now 
is I want us to bring these guys with us so we can have two of them follow us and we can level up both of them at the same time. So that uh, it just takes less time to get our, our thralls ready for the purge. That's, that's the goal right now, is trying to level them up as much as we can, as quick as we can. Uh, let's go ahead back to base so we can go ahead and grab the other cannibal brute that we had been training. Uh, it will be nice once we finally finalize all of our sorcery, which we just need to go get the dragon horn, and I think that's it. I think once we have the dragon horn, we're, we're done. Because we should have everything we need to make the witch fire powder. So once we have the dragon horn... Oh, no, we need... Um, we, need we need fragments of power, don't we? Yeah, we need fragments of power if we want. Yeah, okay, we need five fragments of power. Uh, we can go and start fighting some crocodile bosses. No, did the crocodile boss, I don't think, drops fragments of power, do they? Hmm. We have to think on what we want to do. We need to go and pick up five fragments of power. Two followers is better than a full strength build because you have A, two potential tanks, and B, uh, you can level up. Yeah, level up two at once. Exactly right, yeah. You prefer to get plus 20 to uh, one of your thrall skills. They're so squishy. It's true, they are very squishy. But we're not going to do anything dangerous like we did earlier. But the goal is to just level them up quickly. Our objective is to level these up so that we can... Oh yeah, has this guy built a base over here? He was running around here a lot. Our objective is to level them up quickly, just so that we can use them for purges. When that happens, they won't be following us, so the follower build won't be that helpful for us. Attack! Let's master down. I'll whiff it. Wow. Uh. Huh. He one shot her with his skill? You know what level he is? Crazy, what's his strength? Where's your strength? 35. 29% increased damage. Oh yeah, okay, that'll do it. It's over 50 health. Oh, we gave him a veneer ch uh, a van a veneer chieftain uh hammer. Yeah. Yeah, he does more than 50 damage, so he just one-shots him. If you don't mind respecting frequently, you can do both. Yeah, so that's the main thing. Level up two, swap over to get the plus 20 on all stats, yeah. No, that's, that's exactly it. Is I just want to level him up quickly. We're just not going to fight any skull bosses. Because that was a mistake. <laughs> that was the issue. Was we fought a skull boss, and she got stuck in a position where I couldn't tell her to run away. And so that didn't go so well. Didn't go so well. Uh, on a server you've been playing, uh, you live about halfway between New Azagarth and the Mouse of the Dead in D10. Oh, okay, yeah, we were actually looking at an area around there for potential building. We were looking at... One, two, three, four. Actually, yeah. So uh, we were looking at right here for building, uh, but there was already a base there. This was a this was a candidate for a build spot right on this peninsula here. That's what we were thinking, but uh, couldn't. There's already stuff there. That's how you lost your best thrall. Got pinned and wouldn't put uh, pull his weapon. Oh, that's even worse. At least my thrall had her weapon, but I couldn't uh, I couldn't tell her to run because he was blocking the exit. So. So either way, it was still a mistake for me to go and fight the guy. It was still, it was still an error. Not, uh, not saying it wasn't. Just that uh, what we're doing right now should be fine. Oh, well, where are you? No idea where he is. Also, I should have made a staff. I should have brought my staff with me. Mm -hmm. 
All right, buddy, where are you? Oh, he's falling. There he is, okay. Like, where'd you go? As we continue, um, I suggest the rock outcropping on C9 overlook of Riversen. Not many people live. Not many people live there. C9. Oh, uh, yes. I've already uh, on a previous playthrough we built there. Uh, however, <laughs> Dietrich got boned. Yeah, Dietrich got absolutely annihilated. Uh, we have built there before. However, that pillar, the uh, the lake lake watch lake overlook there's the that pillar that's there while there aren't many people that live or run through that area that pillar is a very common under meshing location so we built on top of it and we got our place raided a couple of times just for people to check to see if we were under meshing i didn't know there was a place that you could under mesh so i will no longer be building there on pvp official servers because people will just check to make sure if you're under meshing or not or try and, or they completely demolish your entire base, which is what ended up happening. They completely wiped it off the map, so they can undermesh. Um, so, yeah, we built there. It was cool. It was a good spot, but uh, but now, and so what that means is that if we stay living in that area, uh, we're going to be living next door to cheaters. It's a uh, while there aren't a lot of people that run around there. The people that do run around there are cheaters. There's a higher likelihood of us just having cheaters as a neighbor, which that doesn't sound like a good thing. Doesn't sound like we're gonna do well. You know? That's the thought process on that one. You have the Sumerian Berserker, one of the um, Bear Threes, and one Janos as your combat thralls. I like Leanne more than Janos, but uh, I can I can understand that. Our thralls. One, two, and three. Cannibal Brute. Welcome to the party, ma'am. These, and you're gonna need this. All right, follow me, ma'am. Let's go. We got our two cannibal brutes prepped and ready. Bench. Those. That. There we go. Perfect. Not talking about the pillar, talking about the big flat outcropping right by where the uh, piggies are. Hmm. So if you're not talking about here, you're talking about like over here where the bears are? Or up here? Uh, in, in spot one or spot two? Upper right hand corner of scene. Oh, up here! Oh no, I haven't uh, haven't built up there before. No, no, I've not I've not I've not built up there. Nor have I looked up there for building. Uh, mostly because there are often people that have built in that zone, uh, right along the river. But they're always like small, more or less unimportant bases. So we could just take over on that one. You built a historical spur castle style building there before. Oh, that sounds awesome. You can get a level off that? Man. What do you need? Alright. Let's get in here. Oh. Alright, let's get in here. Let's get some levels. Pick up some brimstone. Hopefully find another thrall. The tier four. One may hope. Clear them out. Get them gone. Where are you two? I want you to annihilate everything in sight. And I want you to annihilate everything in sight. Basically, better uh, your base looks is just dramatically increases the chance of it getting raided. It feels like it, but it's only from like the vindictive people. Those that are like, well, you can't have something better looking than mine. Pretty much like toxic in chat. Anyone like them. 
Dancer, dancer. I'll let you guys go and clear them. Are there any tier fours? For you. Alchemist. We already have an Alchemist tier four. We don't need any others. Let me just clear this place out. Take him down. Alright. We're gone. Perfect. Oh, thanks. I appreciate you tossing a follow. Yeah, the pop-up's still not working. I thought I fixed it. Uh, I tried. I gave it a quick attempt in the middle of the stream today, but it did not work. We have to figure out why the streamlabs is not throwing the alerts at all for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, that's cool. That's fun. So you, you came up your name uh, with your name by merging the two names together. That's cool. I like it. It's over here. Yeah, we're going to have to go kill a dragon at some point. So we need to go to the unnamed city, and we'll have to go and grab five fragments of power and dragon bones when we're in there. That's that's what we're going to need to go do. But let's go and focus on building stuff first. Or just for, first focus on leveling up our cannibal brutes. I'd very much like them to be at least level 10. In lurk mode for now. Going to bed? Alright, we'll sleep well, Green. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you tomorrow when we play even more Conan Exiles. We're going to play more tomorrow. We'll be playing more of this tomorrow. Just elapsing the unnamed city to get fragments of power? That's essentially what we're going to do, yeah. We need to go there to get Dragon, uh, dragon Horn anyway, so we might as well. We'll be good. Another reason is to have two thralls just put truncheons in their hands. Oh my goodness, I didn't think about just knocking them out. Yeah, they'd just be an absolute menace. Knocking everything out in the world. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, I really do want to level them up. Perfect. What are you looking at? Five strength. You've not gained as much strength as I'd like. I go, oh, okay, you're only level three. For some reason, I thought you were level five at this point. Uh, let's go to the summoning place. Which, awkwardly, I'm on the wrong side to go there. Oh, that's good. They're murdering things on the way. Fine. Let's go to the summoning place real quick. We can get him a good chunk of experience out of that. Let's do a little climbing. Is that our tomorrow night we do Paul World? So that game's like completely released? I don't, um, yeah, if you, if you go ahead and whoever's playing it, let me know if it's a, if it looks like it'd be an interesting game. Watch me play. And if so, drop in the suggestion channel. I'll take a closer look at it and see if we get it on the list. Get up and go. So yeah, the main thing here, and the main reason why I'm procrastinating on putting our points in is because we're going to go and get myself properly corrupted here. We're going to get ourselves uh, some follower corruption. I want to see how it feels with the health. With 130 health. I feel like 130 health is going to be too little. Get him, team. They seem to be doing pretty well on their own with healing passively. The biggest issue is whenever we go in and attack, we often do too much damage and end up hitting them. Hmm. That are two days now, you think? Uh, tomorrow, you get yourself equipped with some new kind of tea. I need to go get new tea. Yeah, yeah I, need, I need to go pick up. I was just mentioning that uh, I need to go get some more because... I'm running low on the uh, on my jasmine tea selections. I've only got two different varieties of jasmine tea left. 
Desmond tea is my favorite. I'm gonna go get that sorted. Second favorite is black rose tea. I'm a fan of black rose tea. I still have three options for those. I'm gonna go get some more jasmine because I'm almost out. It's a cute game, Power World? Okay. Again, uh, I think it was like described as uh, America Pokemon. So I'm just gonna let these guys do the killing. I'm gonna try and just get used to letting them do the work. Take him out. Take him down. They're doing some ridiculous level damage. They're doing some real ridiculous level damage. Actually, before we go further, let's go ahead and let's corrupt ourselves. Need a little bit of stone. We can go corrupt ourselves off one of these guys. And 600. More than perfect. It's totally not Pokemon game where uh, you give your not Pokemon guns. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh, it does sound pretty intense. There's a person. No, oh, Roots, I don't know where you are, but just get over here if you're not here. Alright, I need you two to just chill right here for me. Thank you. Beast. I'm gonna take out this fighter real quick. Yep, easy. You someone to take or now? Where are you? A fighter one? Okay. No, Roots, get in here. Let's get that XP. Grabbed him. Our friends are here. Hello. I will feast upon you. Yes, gain the experience. Cannibals at a KFC camp. Hey, you know they they gotta get to do some extra protein somehow, right? Oh, that's right. You can't do a single piece of uh, sorcery stuff while encumbered. Not allowed. In which case, I will take some of your gruel. You carry these people. Carry this brimstone. I can now cast a spell. Drop myself fully. Oh, come on now. Monkey with an AK-47 is a totally brilliant idea. I mean, isn't that what we already do, though? Us humans? Isn't that already what we do? Aren't we already the monkeys? Alright. Attributes. Ten. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And that's as corrupted as we wanted to get. Get the brimstone. Give you a gruel. Get these two and give you. Right, so I think we might be more corrupted than we need to be. But now, what we have for our attributes is when we do damage, they do more damage. When we take damage, they take half of our damage, split half again between them, and when they deal damage, they heal us. And we can two of them. Good. You're trying to hold your inner Republican back as hard as possible? Oh no. You'll admit in your building for this game, um, you use buildings you find on YouTube? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with using building guides. No problems with that. Okay, so since we only take 30% of the damage that is thrown at us because of our armor, but then that gets halved, we only take that. I'm assuming that means we take 
of the damage that's supposed to be hit with us. Uh, we're supposed to be hit with, right? Ray comes to us. <laughs> Eight damage per hit. Wow. And uh, we're just getting some good heals. Very nice. Let's go, Leong. Yeah, we already know that knowledge. Useful. Eat up. Oh, I told you forgot to pick this up while we were here. The spank option. Nice. Okay, so let's just um, tell the cannibal roots. Oh, jeez. Tell the cannibal roots to just follow. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cause up an absolute mess. Alright, go ahead and kill things. I'm just I'm just going to stir up the hornet's nest here and let them sort it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, she's taking a lot of damage. It's not good. Wow, okay. I guess that's how that frenzy works. Yeah, okay. So you, she still took a lot of damage there. Anything good in here? Cooked oysters. Nice. We're running low on food. Get those. Bills. Nothing else. Uh, building guides is not really needed. Faster you realize this game is just uh, a rust. Faster you enjoy it on the PvP servers. Oh yeah, well, building guides for... Um, oh, we could get another candle brood if we wanted one. Actually, yeah. Uh, guys, stop Stop what you're doing. Don't kill him. Like, I was going to say, he actually would be pretty good to have the backup. In case... But, uh, never mind. He's very much dead and gone. Wither Skulls? Man, I think Wither Skulls out of chests here is so much better now. Yeah, if you're playing on a PvE server, then uh, base builds make a lot of sense. But if you're playing on a PvP server, I agree with Green. You're, you're much better off just kind of like... Watch a couple of guides and then just kind of build. Just see what, what needs to be done. Oh, nothing in there I want. No. Anyone else here of note? Nah. Oh, there's another cannibal brute. Back up. Back up. No, 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 don't. Here. Here. Let's see if we can t take that cannibal brute back with us. I would like a backup. Yeah, there she is. She's she's currently wailing on her guy. Dude, get over here. Stop fighting! Alright, kill her. You, you have to. She's gonna kill you otherwise. Like, dude, I don't know why you could not run away. You failed me. She didn't have anything good on her. There were two cannibal brutes here we could have taken. But I'm not willing to let him die, because we've at least been leveling him up. And we'd have to wait another hour to have her train. But it would have been nice if we had those two. So I think it would be good for us to build a... I mean, really would be better to have something other than cannibal brutes. Cannibal brutes are... They're fine, but they're not They're not great. Tyrant. Isn't Tyrant's uh, bases all decaying right now? Oh, this seems like brand new. Because it was raided? It's because it was raided. Yeah, that makes sense. You say, like, that's weird. Let's jump over here. Do a little bit more murder. A little more leveling. We can get them leveled up. 
Oh, there's a little shack over here, a little shed. Take the frenzy. Take me. Enter. Do the empty abodes. And that frenzy is pretty crazy. So this is three percent per increase damage by three percent per point. That's three percent by fifteen. It's forty-five percent increased damage. Jeez, that's a lot of damage. Take me. That is a lot of damage. I'm pretty happy with this build so far. I think I want to. I think we might uh, split what my plan was initially. Let's just slide our way inside here. Huh? We take the effigy doll, but this is the role player base team. Take their stuff. Uh, so I think with the remaining ten points we have. While strength would be nice, these guys are doing most of the work for us. Um, so I'm tempted to put more points into grit. So we have more stamina. We can do more stuff. How's it going, War Hunter? How are you doing today? 24 hour stream, please? Yeah, no, I can't do that. Uh, I've got a D&D session that starts in six hours and change. Oh. Definitely can't do that. And then I have a, a second D&D session that starts in 11 hours and change. 11 hours, 12 minutes, I've got my second D&D session. In six hours, 12 minutes, I've got my first D&D session. Oh, definitely can't. Be fun to try though, but I keep myself very busy. Down you. I really just can't attack ever, can I? Stamina hurts. But again, you know, our job is to let them do all the work. Not me. And they're doing a good job of it. Oh, some bread. Okay. Stream the D&D? &D? Um, no. Not yet. The, the two sessions, one of them I'm not running, uh, and the other one that I am running, uh, they're not interested in it being live. Uh, the session that I run is really dungeons and spreadsheets, to be honest. Got a lot of stuff that goes on. We do a lot of... Um, they're, they're creating a business, currently. Let's go head back home. We've done a good amount of uh, training with these guys. Head on back. Eventually, I think it would be fun to do. I do want to stream D&D, though. Uh, I've talked about that a uh, couple of times already. Um, I do want to do that, but it's going to be a few months out at the very at the very earliest. It'll be a few months out from now. Won't be until probably like after May. At the earliest. You actually 3D printed travel dice tower? Ooh. And made dice potions. Dice potions being the same concept as a magic eight ball, but with D20. Oh, yeah, no, I had a friend that got me a, um, something almost the exact same as that, except it's a, uh, what's it say? Death saves. It says death saves on it. Got it on a shelf behind me. Really cool looking. Got like a wax. Uh, like a wax seal on it and everything. It's really cool. Oh, hello. Estry. They were here 15 minutes ago. Or less. Hmm. Let's get home to the dancer and see how much of the corruption gets dusted off before we make the final decision on uh, how much strength versus... Uh, uh, strength versus vitality you want to go with. Versus, I guess strength versus vitality versus grit. There is a strange scent on the way. Can you get him? Yeah.
You guys move over there, please. Oh, there's actually just an Ankh here? Kind of cool. Maybe it's always been there, I just never knew. You've built dice towers from expensive wood? Ooh. Dice towers are really cool. If you're one of those people who make uh, that exact kind of thing. Oh, that's awesome. It's, it's, it is really cool. I enjoy it. Information totally useless. Onk. You guys hold on to it. We'll clear out this base of people. You two are doing a good job. How are you doing on health wise? Okay, you're, you're both good. Wow, that's a huge health discrepancy. I didn't check your stats. Oh, you are an agility gal and a low. Wow, we're going to need to get you replaced. We're going to have to replace her. Uh, she's, she's fine. But we're gonna have to get a we'll, we'll have to get a replacement for her for like a proper proper setup. She's definitely agility based. We're currently focusing on trying to give her strength. I didn't even look at her bonuses before I got her started on it. That's fine. She's acceptable for now. But he is the real deal currently. He's absolutely crushing it. Give me that boost. Get them frenzied. Oh wait. Well, oh, there was a tier. There was a tier four something. I thought I checked all of them. I guess I missed the guy. I didn't check the guy that was over there. I didn't check everyone. I guess. Well, that's not good. Kill him, please. Please. Goodness sakes. I, I didn't want to go in there and swing because I was going to swing through him into her. Oh, cannibal brute down. Who did we lose? Ah, it was a it was a fighter guy. Well, damn it. I was too confident they were going to be A-OK. -okay. The tier 4 fighter is what got him, I guess. That's alright. We still got one guy. We still don't know A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Not the best. Hmm. And share view with chat? Uh, what do you mean? No way. Set her up with a bow and arrows? Well, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore, can't do that now. She just had really low health. That low health really did not suit her. And the real issue is just uh, I, I can't help because my attacks go through humans. I thought with the armor that I gave her, she'd be fine. I will drink your blood. Jeez, why am I stuck? Oh well. Still got one, though. Making two levels tabletop? Ooh. That's cool. Just leveled your sorcery up to summoning your corpse? Nice. That is such a nice thing to have, being able to summon your corpse. We need to start working on uh, building. So, I mean, this Cannibal Brute is going to be good enough for us. You know, we got him at level 6 currently. We'll get him a little bit more in levels here, but uh, he should be good enough for us to start focusing on building and look at doing a purge. It looks like he's going to be able to stick around. We can also have the like the level 1 Zamorian Archer that we have follow us into the purge. He'll die pretty quickly, but he'll get some extra damage off with the the zeal ability and whatnot. One of the things we could think about is... I mean, I, I want to play with this sorcery setup just for a bit here and see how it goes. But what I'm curious about is if this isn't the way we want to go. Maybe because I, I really want to try a follower build because I I, just, I almost don't do anything with followers at all. We we oftentimes end up running around solo with no one following us. So I want to have two people follow us regularly if we can. But something to think about is maybe instead of going with the corrupted version, which makes our human thralls true meat shields because they take our damage, maybe we stick with the basic version of it where 
we heal them when we do damage. And if that's the case, then maybe I swap over to a two-handed mace. Lower, more uh, measured attacks. Less likely. I, I can't bleed. I can't add bleed to our thralls. You know? Which has always been an issue. Always been a problem in the past. Accidentally having our thralls bleed to death. There's, there's some options we can go with. But I really want to play with a follower build, because I haven't done that. We haven't done a proper follower build before. Before you head off to sleep, you're wondering if any of the cosmetics in the bazaar right now uh, kind of kick yourself for missing out on the bear uh, a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, I can pull that up here real quick. That's the battle pass. Uh, I don't know what the hotkey is for the bazaar, because I'd never go here. There you go. Those are the things. Nothing I see that's valuable, but some people might like the pirate set. It doesn't look worth 12 bucks to me, though. Just saying. But then again, I don't I don't really buy cosmetics. I buy the Battle Pass, bought the Isle of Sifta DLC, and that is it. Yeah, the mace is really good on this guy. Yeah, we'll probably have this guy over here follow us around. And we go and do the purge. Alright, so if we have our dancer here, how much does our health and stamina actually come back? Where are we actually marked at? Okay, 15 points is actually not that bad. 15 points, which is at 191 health. Pretty good. 191 health and uh, 86 stamina. That's a lot better than what we were running around with. Okay. In which case, I'm tempted to put these points in strength. Hmm. Stick with swords that do cripple? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, going with the greatsword, maybe? You wouldn't suggest maces with followers either? Sunder is just as, if not more, dangerous? Well, you, you, yeah, true, true. Yeah, because if I ended up sundering their armor, they're going to take more damage. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I might need to go swap over to a sword. That's not a bad idea. I'm handing your Thrall's maces to apply Sunder. That is deadly. Yeah, because they stack it up quickly. That's a good call. We should do that. All right, let's go ahead and let's get five points in strength. Eventually, with this build, we'll be bringing expertise down five point or ten points. Endurance for regen being faster. We heal more. We do more damage. Your server doesn't have friendly fire on? Ah, I see. Let's go and get vitality up. We need to be able to stay alive. 100, 254 health. That's a lot. That's pretty good. Like this, and I also need a burlap pouch, I think. And let's go cast the first spell that we can. Time for a first cast of a spell. Sorcerer completed. Same reward. Armor! Oh, actually, it's not just armor. We also get uh, some failed spell pages, too, which is pretty cool. Uh, which one is this? Unreal. Sure. Yes. We steal our physical corruption. We look totally healthy. What do you mean we're corrupted? Shulk. And then this one 
Oh, no. Okay. So we can we can go ahead and do both of those. We can go invisible. Perfect. And then the last thing I want to check. Senses like yeah. Elevate. Yeah. Alright, so we, we can escalate twice. We have got enough corruption, we can escalate all the way up. Cool. Alright, I just want to make sure we had enough corruption to be able to fully escalate. So we have full casting power. And do whatever we wish. Our pouches as well. So we can do full full power of our magic, which actually tempts me to instead of having a cannibal brute as uh, bringing another cannibal brute with us, I'm actually tempted to go ahead and train her up. Oh, interesting! It has a different icon. I didn't even realize that. It's the same armor with a different icon. Weird. It's only for the chess piece. I think I want to level her up. Uh, what are your skills? She's full strength. She's all in on strength. And we can't push her to be better than that, right? So that means we give her vitality food. You give vitality food. And you can use this for now. I might honestly just get her another mace. Uh, we'll need to pick up another dancer if we're going to go ahead and throw her into the fire. Make sure we don't end up in trouble. Brimstone. Perfect. Yeah, she doesn't get the thick, uh, the, the thick belly armor. It's true. But because having her with us means that our, our uh, we can cast spells with impunity, because she'll constantly remove all of our corruption. So I'm tempted to take her with us. I think we're going to. We need a armor chest of some kind at some point here. But this way. That way. Those down. Wait there. Drop off ale and booze, and absence wine grog. This revolver ghoul we can put in here. Yeah, I want to get our sorcery up to the point that we can get the teleporters in, because that would be huge. Being able to teleport, because then we can go and get all of our thralls, no problem. Some ways away and bring them on in. Only 892 out of all that iron? It's crazy. Get a little top up of coal here. Failed scrolls. Spell pages, there you go. Uh, salt, we don't need the salt. The salt's not worth it. Bones, hide, essence. Spear, we can break down for some wood and some stone. So we can just use it for something. Flasks. That's the torch. We might as well break that down. Perfect. Okay, so I kind of want to do a purge attempt with our big guy. This guy's not going to be able to do much. Bring our let's bring our guy over here. 
Okay. So I kind of want to do a purge attempt with you. Which might get you killed. Maybe. We're going to do an attempt at the purge. Ah, oh, no, we really shouldn't. <laughs> we really shouldn't. We've just, we've just spent, we've just lost two of our followers today. We should wait until he's at least level 10. We should wait until he's at least level 10. That should be the rest of the spell pages that we need. I'll have you stand guard on this side of the door. Like our last person did. Stand there and do us proud. Are right. so you going to work on moving the production inside first? Yeah, I need to move the production as well. I wanted to go and test something, but it doesn't make sense to... I really only need half of these. I wanted to go and test that and see if, how he would fight, how he would fare in the fight, but... Um... Let's level her up as well. Let's move production inside and let's uh, start building the, the base because we haven't done any of that. But we're going to do that all tomorrow. We're going to do that tomorrow. We've gone a little too late today for me to keep going because I need to be awake and active and running a D&D campaign in less than six hours. <laughs> so I got to get up and go. But that was a good idea. We should move all of our production inside. So we'll move the production inside, finish the, like, build. We need to build the wizard tower the watchtower, the base of the castle, which we might just put all of our production in the, the basement section of the castle. And then I want to fill out the tavern a bit too. I think we're just going to do... We did a lot of running around today. I think tomorrow we need to stick here at base and just really focus on upgrades and building. I think that's what we need to do. You're hoping you could look at the armor before uh, you hopped off? Ah, I gotcha. <laughs> no, <laughs> gotta get up and go. We're gonna get up and go. Uh, but thanks for hanging out, everyone. I really appreciate it. It's great having you all here. If you have yet to vote for what game we're gonna be playing next on Mondays and Tuesdays, please make sure to go ahead and go to the pinned comment up above in the chat or to the about section in uh, on Twitch. There's a button that says current vote. Go ahead and click that or go to the Discord that we have, our Discord server, and in the announcement section, and please vote. The vote is obscenely close. It is currently tied between Fable 1 and Sid Meier's Pirates with only three points trailing behind Raft. Uh, or Raft is three, three points trailing behind in second place. Um, it is ridiculously close. It's a ranked choice vote, so if you haven't voted yet, Please go ahead and vote. Drag and drop them in the order you're interested in. Most interested at the top, least interested at the bottom. But thanks for hanging out, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.